did. Thank you for reminding me. There you go. Fixed it. Good morning, everyone. You guys doing good? Why is that so quiet? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Hello, hello. How are you today? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies, lads, the wonderful little in betweenies. How are we all doing on this fine ass, hot as fuck sun Saturday? I have cheese string. And someone tell Golden I, I, I stole their favorite monster. Hello, Flux. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Good. You, you doing good? I think the music's a tad too loud. Give me a second. Give me, give me a second. Do I sound okay, by the way? I moved my mic slightly to hopefully get rid of my whole <laughs> breathing cr crap because I hear it in the VODs. Also, <laughs> it's glowy again. It's hot and a bit muggy. It's, it's fairly okay here. You know, when you've got a fan pointing at you and not running by your computer instead. There you go. Good morning, Terrace. I will be fastly approaching your location this time next week. I will be rapidly approaching your location this time next week. I won't be going to you, but I'll be very much closer to you. Me by the sea, it's, it, it is, uh, yeah, I, d I did a weather check before I went live and we're meant to be getting like 17 here today. It's actually quite nice. The weather here right now is probably the nicest it's been in a while. But yeah. I didn't oversleep and miss a Katie stream. Yeah, you didn't. I just started. You're fine. Unless you pass out. God damn six ad. Drift! Can we get 07s in the chat for ad watches? If you got hit with an ad, we will 07. We will respect your memories. 07s in the chat, please. Can you hear me? 07s. There we go. We got some 07s. We're good. We're good. Did I fix the problem I have, by the way? Do, 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 do these work suddenly? Do, do, do emote, I, I think I might have, I may have unintentionally, uh, uh, accidentally. Can someone do a wange? Can someone have a quick, can you guys have a quick goon session to make sure emotes work here? Because sometimes they don't work. We've been, I've been trying to fix them for a couple, for a while. And I thought it was 7TV, and I've done a 7TV, and I don't know if it's the thing. Okay, okay, so you can goon now. I fixed it, I think. Hopefully, maybe. Did I fix it? Okay, pray, stop gooning. Pray, 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 pray. Hyper wench doesn't seem to want to work. Hi, streamer and chat. Hello, Kerberos. How are you doing? Did you guys have... Hella fun with Mikey yesterday. I ended up, I ended up AFKing in his stream for about six, five, four, five hours last night, until he ended stream. It's my monster. I got you. I I got myself uh, a bad apple. Yeah, I got myself a bad apple. I also got a Pacifico. <laughs> I'm doing the thanks. And you? I'm doing amazingly. I've got all my energy back. Everything's pretty much finished now. I've got one more thing with this project to do. I've got to do some rising up shit for like documentation for the team and stuff. But yeah, we're literally ready to go. I've got my bag for my trip ready to go. It, I, told, I told my dad I'm struggling to find a bag to go with because like they have odd sizes. And he said, oh, don't worry, I've got one. I went, what do you mean you've got one? He said, I've got a bag specifically for all the cunty jets. And I went, wait, what? I said, I've got a bag. I've got bags for all the cunty jets in the world. I went, he, he got a bag which came with a set of bags which came with it, right? 
and the, all the bags are designed to go for the most asshole scales across all airlines globally. So like, I have a bag and I'm trying to figure out what I need to go with. I know I need to go with pajamas, which I've already packed them because I'm not going to touch them until I go. I've already got... I'm going to get another pair of pajamas just so... I'm going to get another pair of lazy clothes so we can hang... So me and Neil can hang out. I need two sets of clothes and... Um, yeah, I need to get... I need to get two sets of clothes to go... To, uh, two to three sets of clothes to go... To go with and like underwear plus my makeup. I don't think I need to worry about hair stuff because I can just wash my hair before I go and I'll be fine throughout the whole trip. I'm only there for a few days. Okay, he's cute. No, I'm not devs. Bad devs. Bad. Stop lying to the chat. Hmm. Hmm. Bad. Do I sound okay, by the way? I moved my mic slightly so it's not right up against my nose. It's like near where it was. I don't know if it sounds better. Do I, do I sound a little bit better? I hope I sound better. I ain't lying. Bitch, you lying! I think so, yeah. Yee. Cool. So what is, I am, I have, according to, from what my dad said, asked, um, he asked if I wanted to have mashed potato, uh, 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 bangers and mash for dinner. I said bangers, mash and gravy. And he was like, I went, so I'm having a mashed potato uh, and bangers, bangers, mash and gravy for dinner. I haven't had it in so long. Sausages, bangers and mash, baby. I know what my dad's like though. He won't do standard bangers and mash. He won't do standard mashed potato. He'll do like, um, my dad tends to put like a bit of cauliflower in. No, he doesn't do a bit of cauliflower. What he tends to do is he'll do some uh, broccoli. You can say hi to Cisco. He, he does a little bit of broccoli with some, um, he does a little bit of uh, broccoli with, which he only does the florets with. And then he, um, he, does a, he does a little bit of broccoli with some florets and he does a bit of um, some carrots, orange boys. Yeah, those things. Ground tight sausages. Oh no, 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 he, well, you got a gluten free one. Gluten-free sausages are the best type of sausage because they're just all meat. There's no crap added into them to bulk them out. They're actually the best. Onion gravy all the way. O onion, onion gravy just all the fucking way, all the time. I wanna, I keep getting crap. Hello. Hi, uh, Katie. Hi. Yeah. I see on your um. If you go onto the corner, you can get up. I I saw on your Twitter that you're going to Rotterdam next week. Yes, I am, and I can't wait to see you. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice to see. It's, it's, I get, uh, I get, it's gonna be I nice. I get to touch Katie's face. <laughs> Neil gets to touch my butt though. I told him if I, 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 he told me if I turned around and said to anyone, it's like, let me consult my manager, he'll slap my ass. I went, oh, don't fail me with a good time. And he went, oh, bet. <laughs> he's, at, he's technically my manager. And one of the things which I find really funny is I'd actually turn around and told him, I'm gonna, if I get fudmuxed at TwitchCon, I'm just gonna say, let me talk to my manager about it. With him standing right here. <laughs> I talked to my Aww. manager about it. Neil! <laughs> I needed a manager. I need the thing is, is I needed a manager to basically tell me to stop doing projects, because I I know I I've done I I've done some cor I've done some correlation maths on it, and every time I do a big project, it just hurts me. <laughs> but after the project is done, I just go I just come I I just I bounce straight back. So I'm like, oh, is that now? This is Cisco. This is Hello. this is this is Cisco. He, he, Saying about TwitchCon as well, I need to invite you to that. Oh, I, um, me and a few people are planning to do, um... I just realized! 
golden. Do you want to know what I just realized? Chloe's room. She has a fucking blahage. Bitch has a blahage. I did not realize that, uh. but Chloe had a blahage. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, turns out. Turns out I can't send invites or any messages to you right now. So over you Discord. Should, you should be able to. Uh, uh, no, this is the correct one. I literally sent you something. Send me a friend like, request. Because I, I, I did change yeah. my policy. So you might be getting hit by time a policy. Thank you for your phone. Welcome to your stream. Katie is not send, accepting friend requests. They'll have to add you to become part of What? It. I um, changed. I, why. I changed the policy. I, <laughs> give me a second. I can probably find you. We broke it. I will. How on? Same friend request. There you go. You should have got request now. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, I, you fool. Now I can send you graphics art to scams. No, there we go. <laughs> no, I was just getting really sick and tired of people randomly um, messaging me about sh shit, and I was like... Yeah. Stop messaging me. I, I, <laughs> there, there's a reason why I have, like, what I have in my Discord bio is, like, you know, small talk will be charged at $5 per message. It's a deterrent. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, the thing is, is I have it on my, um, my spicy website of a mm -hmm. streaming service that I use. Um, I have it so it's like a do so it's like fifty cents to send me a DM, and people were going, "Oh, I'm just gonna join the Discord and DM you directly." So I just cut them off to stop them from being able to do it, and then it suddenly oh, stopped, gotcha. <laughs> and it suddenly stopped, and I started getting more messages on my on, on my spicy website. I went, "Oh, that's convenient." I'm like, you realize that if you do, if you if you want to have a long conversation with me, five dollars gets you access to be able to message me as much as you want, and it won't cost you more. Five dollars a month to be able to message me all you want, and I will respond. I respond to all of them. It's kind of a person. It's a. I have a. I literally have a huge, massive set of documentation I've put together about policies for each fucking platform I work on now. Wow. Is your character your your avatar does not everything but stare at me, like they'll stare at me for a second and then look away. You smell musky today. I like. I it. shouldn't smell musky. I'm clean. <laughs> I have pink pajamas for Twitch. Actually, I got some new clothes for TwitchCon. Mm -hmm. And I got the notification. Huh? You got notification? Hi, Deadbug! Thank you for the follow. Sorry if I didn't say anything. I'm stupid. I completely forget. I keep forgetting. Yeah! I can't wait for Twitch Club now. I did all my. Oh, yes, yeah, same. I did all I did all my t shirt shopping at Confuzzled. And then yesterday I was like, I've got a bit of spare time before like work finishes. I dropped by Costco and grabbed like a couple of pairs of shorts. And then in the uh, hotel room chat that I got. And they were saying, oh yeah, it's probably gonna rain or be like bad weather on like the Saturday or the Sunday of Twitch because I'm like, for fuck's sake, tell me that before I buy like for like forty pounds worth of shorts and cargo fucking <laughs> I don't really give a please. shit. I see here's the thing. I I talked to my dad and I I told him what I planned to bring with me and I realized, oh well, I'm mm. just gonna wear a jacket. I'm just I, I don't wear coats, I just wear jackets. Because I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm uh, I don't spend enough time outside to risk to have risk being in the rain or getting too wet. So it's mm -hmm. not a problem for me. I just wear a jacket to protect myself a bit. Um, so my plan is, is on the flight, I'm just going to be wearing a jacket. But we won't know the weather properly until probably about Wednesday. So anyone saying, oh, we're going to this weather. Uh, it's it's basically, you won't know what the weather's going to be like probably until a few days beforehand. So my suggestion would be, um, the day before you leave, check the weather where you're going. Check the weather in um, yeah. in Rotterdam and stuff, and then go from there. Ne ne yeah, I'm saying. What are they saying about it? Hmm? Uh, Google saying cloudy uh, sun, sun and cloudy weather for all, out the whole of the week up in Rotterdam. Um, that's up to Saturday. The worst is going to be Wednesday and Thursday, where it's going to be highs of 29 degrees, and then it's going to cool down. 
Friday and Saturday. I I may go and buy myself a sundress for TwitchCon if it's going to be like the high 20s. Because I have a dress. I have a dress with a belt which I'm planning to go with, but it's like, it only works mm-hmm. at, if I don't have a belt on it, it's just a big top. It literally turns itself into a dress by having that, but I'm very much, I may go to Blue Banana and maybe find myself a nice sundress or something. I went to a prom shop bef- when I was, a f- a f- when around when I started transitioning and um, I bought a really, really nice dress. And, and I, can't, mm-hmm. I think I got rid of it. Which just sucks because it was a really, really nice floral one, and I had a drunk gay guy, who a, a drunk gay guy who was pe- who was struggling to stand up, uh, stared at me and said, "Go for floral, think mummy." And I was like, "Damn, how fucking right he is! <laughs> <laughs> how right he is! That str- that dress gay, but he couldn't stand up. He looked at me and looked. He looked at me and I walked by as I walked by and he said, "Hun, you should go for blouses, think floral." Think mommy. Th- think mommy vibes. And I was like, yes. Blue banana is a shop. Blue banana is a blue. Okay, Jake, best way to describe blue banana, emo shop. Emo and retro shop. It's like where you go if you're emo. It's where you go if you like the retro look. It's where you go if you are gothy. Not super gothy, but gothy kind of deal. Give me a second. I've been told to take a drink. Yeah, you got you to gotta remember that in the UK we don't. We unfortunately don't have hot topic though. We it's do not have hot topic, hello. Like, yeah, it's mainly just like indie shops or EMF mm. uh, for your online one. Mm. A lot of shops now, a lot of the f- a lot of the physical stores that you see around like towns and stuff, they're just front facing warehouses. That's literally how they are now. Yeah. They're not they're not stores anymore. They they are they operate as like a half thing. So technically speaking, by going into the store, you should get a cheaper deal. But reality is, is that it's actually the same price because they got they charge they oh, charge yeah. the difference for shelf space, and it's like, but the whole place operates essentially as an open warehouse where you can go in and buy stuff on its own, and it just comes off mm-hmm. on the comes off on their thing. So it's like, mm. oh, I've got to pull the tab back. Everywhere is now us. There it is. Hi, Frozen. Hi, hi. You doing okay? I'm currently being pushed off of the bed by a giant furry in... You're not in latex today. I am late. But this is, this looks like a jumper. Yeah, it's, it's just keep me warm. Um, but it's like summer, we're in a heat wave. I was. I found it really funny how I was talking with um, Golden and stuff in my server this morning, and we were talking about how different weather is in, in the UK. I had to explain that we have really high humidity, and I found out that our average humid, uh, the lowest our humidity gets is 50. 50 percent humidity. It's 40 to 50 percent is what, uh, is what we get lowest. In America, the lowest they get is like 3 percent humidity, and they consider that uh, some places consider that quite high. I'm like, we get like 90 percent humidity in the UK. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yep, it's 93 humidity here. Yep. I, I want to get something behind you. I need to. I need. I need. I need, I need. Sorry. Could you, could you also find that one pound coin that that magician put behind my ear like three years ago? What? Oh, you. You know they did the trick where they put the, the coin behind your ear. Yeah, I need to find. I'll find it. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not a magician. I can't reveal their code. I'm sorry. Alright. Well, you're a magician in other other aspects, but I can't talk about that on Twitch. Oh, I can hide a can. I can hide a monster can quite easily now. Oh boy. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to be bringing. Well, I'm going to be bringing the toy known as Flair as like a mascot for the room, anyway. So. Oh, I'm I'm staying with Neil. Why did I check my Q-tip? I always, you, it's always a good idea to check your Q-tip whenever you're doing air stuff. To know if you're getting in the right spot. And doing the technique right. And I checked looking in through my fucking VR headset. I usually check with the little gap between your nose. 
and I checked with my headset. I went like that. I went, wait, where can't I see it? I went, oh, it's in your hand in real life, you dumb bitch. I am home from work, so better, uh, so better and better. Not the best morning, uh, but that's life. Always a pleasure to chill in your chat and enjoy your company. It's always nice to have you here, hon. I'm hoping that you've been doing okay and taking care of yourself. But yeah, you hyped for TwitchCon. I can't wait. Very much so. I can't wait for TwitchCon um, US. I've just got to... I can't wait for, to go to TwitchCon mm -hmm. US as well. That's the one I'm really hyped up for. I'm debating if TwitchCon EU is going to be worth it next year though. So I'm using TwitchCon, uh, the TwitchCon EU this year to work out if it's going to be worth going to again next year. Even a follow yeah, to the stream. I'll be honest, I'm doing the same. Like, like I'm, I... I'm kind of doing the same with EU. I'm going because it feels like this year might have less attendance especially with the vr chat circle and then seeing uh, how well it goes this year is probably going to decide whether or not i do next year the thing is is i personally think even people who are kick streamers who basically jump ship straight over to kick are genuinely mm. probably still going to go to twitchcon it's the only time you can ever really meet up with loads of people from vrc at the same time that we don't have a vrc yeah. con even though technically speaking we could technically have a VRC con, but we don't really need one because we just meet up in VR chat. Doesn't make sense to do a real one. Yeah. So people utilize Twitch con as their VRC con. It's a cr technically speaking. I know this sounds really fucking stupid. I would drop Twitch con. I would drop VidCon. I would drop all of these separate website streaming services con thing. Just do something like Creator con. And then it have it so there's the Twitch section, so you've got the streaming, the streaming section, you've got the live, you've got like the content creation stuff like YouTube and stuff, and you've got like other things, Instagram models. Uh, maybe there's a spicy section, basically dominated by OnlyFans and Fansly. Who knows? Actually, no, because that just turns it into porn con. <laughs> Oh, that's not a bad thing. You just have a just to have a specific floor just for like the uh, the fans, yeah. the only fans, and whatever other. Yeah. You, you, the thing is, is it will be a way thing. bigger event. It will have to be such a bigger event that will never happen as one con. I know it won't. I know yeah. it won't. And if it were to happen at one con, it won't be a weekend. It would be like a week. It would have to be like a solid week yeah. type thing. As soon as you have spicy people attending, you would have to limit to it to 18 plus. Yeah, that's the thing. You could do it as a physical separation of like, there's a whole section where you've got to do an age verification uh, or you have to have a specific yeah. badge to be able to get into that section. Did you get ginger yeah, ale, Jake? I mean, to... Batman. <laughs> but when it comes to like furry conventions, especially in the US, um, they have usually most of the time they're like 13 plus but they're whether like stuff like deals den and mm -hmm. um and um some of the other more adult orientated events it will be basically you just need to get you have like separate wristbands or i think mm. in the case of like in you know, mff they mm. rfid or nfc chips and, it sounds really really and, fucking yeah, it sounds really 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 fucking stupid how in america it's like oh you can uh, to do anything not safe for work you you've got all these regulations that have to be put in place but like you go to a, a, a pew pew convention and you, you can be like 10 and walk out with a with, with, with a i don't want to say the words i find that so stupid hi gizzy i'm seeing gizzy at twitchcon as well say hi cisco is joining Hello. us at twitchcon well, we're seeing each other because me, me, me brand image and stuff. Mm -hmm. But no, I, 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 TwitchCon is the one of convention a year which I do kind of do end up trying to justify. And I'm just trying to figure out. I'm using TwitchCon EU to say, hey, is it worth me doing this? Or should ne next year, should I just go, fuck it, I'm focusing on TwitchCon US and just try and make TwitchCon US a bit more of a thing for me? Because, like, yeah. even though TwitchCon EU is pretty cheap me get it so my, t my ticket to the con it, my ticket to the con was about 110 but i ended up buying neil his ticket as well because i'm staying with him and that was kind of his deal was i pay for his convention ticket um 
the flight there, the travel to get to the airport there and back again, um, additional shit which I need to do, and it's just like the list, it, 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 it starts off as, oh, it's only going to cost me like 200, and then by the time I, before I even get there, it's like 600, and then by the time I come back, it's probably going to be like a thousand for the whole thing. And I'm going, could I have just put in an extra grand to go towards the US instead? And make that a bit better because i'm mm. staying i'm i'm only going to i'm only going to europe for a weekend basically i'm going i'm going next friday i'm coming back on the tuesday and i'm going uh, okay gotcha. so i'm only going for a weekend but with the us i'm going on the tuesday staying there for an entire week and coming back on the tuesday so it's like a way bigger thing mm-hmm. so i'm like mm, 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 mm. no cute but Gizzy, you're precious and we love you here. What do you mean? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Ice, ice, baby. Hi. No. Maybe not work. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> I'm gonna be over in Rotterdam for a week, so like I'm getting there on Thursday, mm. and then leave me on this on the on the Thursday following because uh, I'm basically doing what I did with uh, Paris last mm. year, where it's just like, well, if you're going away, you might fun, as... and then after that, do do it as a weekend, have it as a holiday, yeah. basically. Yeah, might as well do it as a whole trip. And that, yeah, that's the thing. Um, so once I'm done with my stream on Monday, I'm officially considering my break starting. And then Friday I'm flying out and that's going to be like a whole day thing. And then we got the convention and then Monday is chill. Tuesday I'm coming back, but I come back early. I'm coming back fairly early on Tuesday. And then I basically got like a week. Uh, and then I basically have up until the Friday to just relax. By the way, by the way, I recently found out that my dad is going away on the Saturday, the 6th. So my dad's going away, which is debut stream, by the way. Got, got got something big planned to release m- more than more than what you think which is kind of dope um 24 hour naughty stream and then he so he's going away so he's going away on the saturday um but he said he's going um he's going away on the wednesday which is the 10th and he's coming back on the saturday so i get a few days to myself so uh, yeah. on the 10th a late night fun time spicy stream question mark because it gives me an excuse to try because i mean trying to experiment see what other times that um i can potentially do stuff in and my dad going away for a couple of days it could be fun the sixth yeah yeah so it's the sixth of the sixth is on the weekend i don't know if he he might be staying the night so he could be going on the sixth and come back on the seventh then he's staying till wednesday and then i think he's going wednesday till um Wednesday to the Saturday, which is all mm-hmm. cool, which means I can utilize my freedom for a couple of days to either be a complete whore or um, be a complete whore. <laughs> kind of the two options. Oh, yeah. Either be a whore in private or be a whore in public. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't miss anything. Hi, Goku. Good morning, hon. How are you doing? You doing okay? I'm fabulous. We've been over this. I, you, 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 you are correct. You are not cute. You're not amazing. You're fucking fabulous. Mm-hmm. Love you, Gizzy. Uh, put a track on his phone to avoid surprise. I could give him a. I could give him a Apple AirTag. To keep an eye on him to find out when he's coming back. <laughs> Just go, hey, take care of it. Hold on to this. Why? Safety reasons. If we're like, why? I'm like, safety reasons. I think that'll be a bit weird, though. Actually, I don't even know, because he's going to London on the Saturday, and I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I need to change this music. It's just moody. 
how to find that. I could glitch. Well, one of the cool things with Apple products, which is kind of a thing which I really, really like about Apple, is the whole find my feature. I know there is Android equivalencies, but the one for Apple is just so much better. If you can't hear the music, um, if you're using Franco, if you've got Franco face plugged in, a uh, 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 add-on done, there's a plugin. It does. Okay, okay. Catch this. Catch what? I have no problem. Yeah, if you've got Franco face, you can. There's a button when you hover it over the tab, and it equalizes all the volume. You know, Golden, a good policy is to um, just raid and not come in with a pre-raid message. But thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had fun, hun. They were in my stream. I'm kind of confused as to why they were watching me while streaming. Stream sniping you in VR chat. Ooh. May I felt like it. Mm. <clears throat> well, come in. How was your stream, hun? Did you have fun? You were doing, doing, doing some just chatting? That's cool. I got bad apple, by the way. Built Lego. You built Lego? If you really, if, if you want to get, if you want to know the, if you want to know the path to a guy's heart, take them to the Lego store and tell them, choose anything you want, and then watch them melt and cry and wonder how much, how they deserve you, and they'll be the happiest person on the planet until they break their Lego set or finish that Lego set. It's one or the other. Or finish it and then break it by accident. Pego! What's up? Yes, I heard Prey told me you had you got bad apple. I do got bad apple. <laughs> I went to Morrison's this morning. I normally go to Sainsbury's on a Saturday and we went to Morrison's. Oh. Actually saying that, like, was, is, is your Morrison's like the big Morrison's which has like all of the takeaway things? Oh, you... Yeah, you, you, you lucky bitch. <laughs> I, it's got the whole bit at the None back. The it's here. got the, it's got the whole bit at the back where you've got like the whole butcher section. You've got the fishmonger. Then you've got like a fucking salad bar, and it's got mostly oh, fucking yeah, pasta. Yeah. So I couldn't go near it. And you go to the other side. You've got the bakery. It's got like a little dessert stand and shit. And I, I one thing I loved about that. One thing I love is. All the other stores do this whole thing about trying to make it feel light and airy and ah, oh, it's so much air and space, it's so bright in here, it's to make you feel like, it, make, it makes you feel like you've, um, you lose passage of time and stuff because you can't tell if it's day or night type thing. Yeah. In, in Morrison's, they literally go, YOLO, fuck it. If the ce the ceiling's the limit on these shelves, let's stack them higher. So you're walking around <laughs> these aisles and there's like, can bottles of cola you got monster cans you got dr pepper and pepsi and then as you look up you see all of that extra stock and it goes to the ceiling and you're just sitting there going like oh fuck this feels kind of cool i like this <laughs> why, are, why don't other places yeah. do this anymore you're wandering around it does feel claustrophobic but the aisles are actually kind of wider the wider what the wider aisles but they feel smaller because, like, you can get, like, three people down them. The other place is just, like, you struggle to get two people down. But it feels so much roomy. But they're, they're like, mm, the fuck is bad apple? It's a monster flavor. Like a tom a, a tom a toe? A what? Yeah, most of the ones, uh, most of the Morrison's I've been in have been, like, quite dingy. It's like, again, you're saying that all, all the other supermarkets go for, like, you know, being light and airy and, like, oh, yeah, take your time here. Whereas Morrison's, like, is so dingy, it's, like, it's basically has the you... vibe of buy your shit and get the fuck out. Yeah, but it's not bad, and it's not a bad uh. approach to it. It With Tesco's, you can be in, I, I've gone to Tesco's, right? I've timed my visits at Tesco's. It takes me 15 minutes to get there, 15 minutes to get back. And so it's 15 minute walk there, 15 minute walk back. I'm in there for five to 10 minutes, right? But it feels like I've been in there for half an hour. But with mm -hmm. Morrison's, we were in there for like 20 minutes and I thought we were in there for five. It's the complete opposite. So it's like, which one's doing it wrong? Which one wants you in the store longer? If they're in the owner store longer, you're more likely to pick up crap. I also mm -hmm. need to talk to Decker actually. Did you like it? I've had them before, hun. I really do enjoy Bad Apple. I, I do enjoy them. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy it. 
I love the start her a button because you can do so much with it. Oh, I'm thinking about adding to my Twitter art tag, uh, a, a, a custom hashtag for art stuff. I'm trying to figure out what we could do it as. So guys, if you have ideas for what we could do for a custom art tag for Twitter, uh, put the suggestions um, in, or you could put the suggestions here, or you can put it in the um, in the Discord server. Like, oh, is it for like gift art and such, or is it for? Like it, it's art? for it's for general art and stuff. So like, if I do official fan art, I'll get the artist to the art. Uh, I'll let the artist tweet it out with official hashtag with the official hashtags. If it's um, fan art, they can also do the same. Um, I, I will, yeah. I'm just trying to think about what we could do for it, because I, I want to do it. I feel like I, I feel like I've been neglecting. I, I feel like I've been neglecting fan art stuff for quite a while now, and I've been trying to figure out how I can work around it. I think a nice hashtag is a good way to go, and then I'll just make it an official tag on my Twitter to so be like, oh, official art, or uh, yeah, art hoard type shit. So like, ah, oh, Miss, uh, Miss Katie art stuff or some shit. I now have a suggestion, but you're gonna hate it. <clears throat> what is it? Hashtag Miss Katie B eats crayons. I don't eat crayons though. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm probably autistic. I'm not that level of autistic if I am autistic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I, you know, you, you, you just sometimes get hooked on, hooked on the blue crayons because they just taste like blue. Katie isn't a U.S. Marine. Do a cool thing about crayons: the they each candle burns. It, each each crayon will burn for about twenty minutes, I think. So they're actually really, really. So one of the things that you should do is if you've got a um an emergency kit, like a, an earthquake or um life saving um oops reality's gone to shit um thing um. Yeah, it's good to have a big one of the big boxes of crayons because not only can you use it mm. to mark things and you can do color coding and stuff like you can do like red means bad blue means uh, medical supplies green means reusable food yellow means no more food you can do like shit like that all over the place with crayons um you can also light them and you can actually technically eat them because they have to be safe for children because they will eat them Mm -hmm. So get crayons, get crayons. Get crayons for your survival kits, guys. Yeah, I've been writing policies all morning. I need, I, I need to put together like a Twitter policy type thing. Oh, Jake, you will- Jake, are you still here? Yes, you are. I see you. Yeah, yes. How many crayons can you- No. You asked earlier about what's the huck to thing. There's a thing on TikTok where this guy walked up to a girl and says, what's your secret move in the bedroom? And her response is, I just grab that old thing, give it an old huck to. <laughs> <laughs> give it that old huck to and spit on that thing. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of hot. I see why that would work. <laughs> What? <laughs> By the way, if you're on the other side of me, they can see your eyes. On this side, you're covered up by your emo hair. Wait, do I need to go to this side? Yeah, if you're on that side, they can see your face. Stand about here. Stand on the tattoos magazine. There you go. Now they can see your face and look how jittery your eyes are. Because they look everywhere but- Thank you, I was getting tired. I was getting... getting tired of sniffing the other armpit. <sighs> They're into weird shit, it makes sense. I just- I just like the, using my sense. <laughs> Perfectly natural. I'm honestly- like, I'm so- totally so because i have a bath my approach to like bathing is before i go to bed i'll have a bath because having a bath in the morning mm. is so much so much stupid high level hassle uh, uh, when i'm at neil's i I'm, I'm pretty sure he has a um a shower so i'm probably gonna literally be 
waking up and having a quick shower and it's going to be so mm -hmm. odd for me because i'm like i'm used to like going to having a bath and then going to bed and then just if i wake up smelling it in the morning i just live with it because i'm on my own yeah. I, I i don't i ha i only go out to do a handful of things and then i'm home like i'm out, out for no more than about two out no more than like two hours a day which is mm -hmm. fine considering before it was like maybe 10 minutes at a time now it's like oh i'll be out for a couple of hours but yeah when i'm at neil's i'll be like oh he's got a shower cool i can wake up i can have a shower i can dry off and i can get ready and i will jump in the shower first thing in the morning i will wake up and jump straight in the shower and get that going straight away whilst i'm at his can you eat overnight bath water no you cannot convince neil to fucking like bottle up the shower water okay that will be weird don't convince him do not do that i know what you guys are like you will try to do it and he will consider it because he's he, he he is my manager and he he will try <laughs> no jake no oh yeah oh seven for the ad watchers they're about to get hit with ads sorry for the ad watchers uh uh Neil got taste. Neil, Neil, Neil is Neil is the best bad influence on me. Okay, that's all you need to know. What have you been up to anyway? I haven't seen you in forever. Actually, I haven't seen you in VR in a fucking long time. I only ever see I... you when you're in desktop these days. Yeah, I usually, like, in, in, in these, like, morning and afternoon times, I jump on VR and stuff. Like, I'm usually more active in in, in VR in the evenings and such. Mainly, like, during, uh, during when I'm streaming, and then also, like, if there's a... Oh. Event? Yes, yeah, mainly like a furry group. Uh, I'm, I've gotten, I'd say very much ingrained into because uh, a couple of my friends, I was like one of my friends uh, invited me to it, and then I started making other friends, and then um, one of one of them, pretty much my mistress as well, which. Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that on Twitch. Was it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I ended up making like not scared by the ad. Quiet. Yeah, I've been just really busy, so uh, outside of streams, I've not been in VR nearly as much as I want to be. With the project mm -hmm. over though, I'm more than cap with the project pretty, pretty much over, my my new project over that uh, over now. I'm pretty much able to jump into VR and stuff. The problem is, as I've been testing. The pro what I've been working on mm -hmm. on a project off stream. So every time I'm not in VR, I'm uh, when I'm not in when I'm not on stream, I'm testing it, um, uh, it out, and then like I'm having to be cautious about who I'm hanging out with because like I've been in VR and hanging out with, with hang out with friends who are all not streaming, they're all, they're all chill mode, and then Cyberchimp turns up and he's streaming, and I'm like, fuck's sake, I've got to change my avatar quickly. <laughs> <laughs> just completed pro project pretty much completed it's not a hundred percent finished it's got a little bit left to do but it's pretty much finished i should finish it up tonight i do have some written stuff i need to finish up on which is the the last bit can i clip and add no you can't sadly i don't even think you can clip during an ad play But I, if you're wondering about how my ads work on Twitch, two minutes of ads every 40 minutes, it's it's like the balance between long enough to make sure people don't leave and not, um, not often enough to... It's not long enough and it's not often enough to annoy chat, but it's regular enough to keep Twitch happy because it averages out to three mm. minutes an hour, which averages out to be at three minutes an hour, which gives me no pre-roll. 
which really does help. So yeah, that's how my um, ads are set up. It's worth doing that way, two minutes every 40. Just don't be a psycho. Oh oh. Just don't be a psycho and go, I'm gonna do eight minutes of ads every 20 minutes. Why? <laughs> I just realized as well, looking at the the example photos again for the hotel room, my uh, my hotel is so fancy. I'm sorry, no, my hotel room is so fancy, it has two dark chairs with a seat. A what? Duck with a seat. Think about it. Oh, sneaker you chairs. Know, the, the specific... Sneaker chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just call them, the chairs call indeed, them what the they are. The they're, called, they're called sneaker chairs. Genuinely, they're called sneaker chairs. I li there is, I am not joking. There is a Facebook group called sneaker chairs, called sneaker chairs, and people go around taking pictures of the cuck chair at, in hotels and in bedrooms, and then they review <laughs> the chair, and it's it's a ten out of ten is a t is a sneaker out of ten. He would love to sit in that in that chair a zero out of ten is an aiden ross out of ten he's like he isn't into that shit sorry <laughs> how's katie doing i'm doing good tina how are you doing you doing okay that will be so funny because the ad i got made me laugh good advert should make you remember them like that's all i remember a good advert should make you remember them. Very rarely do you get good adverts. I think the only advert I remember is the fucking Cadbury's monkey one. With the drums. That's like the only one in my head that I can think of off the top of my head. E. Hi Batman. <laughs> yeah, good adverts should make you remember them. Bad adverts are terrible. They just make you forget. It's like, who the fuck remembers any of the perfume adverts? They're just terrible. Like, it sounds really stupid. If I was a perfume brand and I got a new person to come on and, and be, like, the sponsor face of this um, new ad campaign, I would give them permission to make a perfume ad exactly how they want. I guarantee you they will make it the trolliest shit on the planet and it will be the best perfume ad ever written. And it will be the most memorable. Like, eau de parfum. Is it Eau de Parfum? I don't know. Eau de Parfum, fucking whatever it's called. And then you're just sat there looking at it going like, it's just someone, it, 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 it's like, um, I don't know, random comedian actor. I can't remember. Who's the guy who played, who, who plays um, Zoolander? The guy from Zoolander. It would just be that. And it's just hey, like, Ben Stiller. Ben, yeah, yeah, Ben, it's like ben Stiller. And he's just sitting there going like, uh, and then shit like that, making it look really, 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 really fucking stupid. And it would just be like, the most funniest shit. And it would be the best <laughs> one, because everyone will remember it. And it will actually be like, oh, I want to get some of that now, because it's an actual advert for the perfume. But it looks like, like a fake, because it feels fake, but it's not. It's real. Ben Affleck? I don't fucking know. Bruce Willis. <laughs> I'm doing okay, just been bored with no e-bike work lately, been dealing with stupid insurance, trying to scam me out of the payments for my bike that got totaled. Tina, have you been, have you considered branching your e-bike thing out into e-scooters as well? <laughs> Considering e-scooters have massively become more popular. If you were to do repairs for both e-bikes and e-scooters, that would be really, really good. Hi Bridget, how are you feeling today? You doing okay, hun? Thank you for the follow, welcome into the stream, hun. Ben Affleck. I don't know comedians. I'm really bad at remembering actors. I'm really shit at remembering names, but I can remember the faces. I can remember the face, but I can't connect the name to the face. Like I can remember the, them separately. I don't remember them as the same entity. Can you want to know something? What? What 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 what? 
there are too they they are too complex to repair and expensive to do scooters. I'm certified for e-bikes. Plat 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 plat. Get pregnant. Get pregnant. Get pregnant. We have an emote for that here. <laughs> we have an emote for that here. Welcome into the stream, by the way. Uh, they could keep right high. Hi, Doctor. How are you doing today? I have a lot more energy compared to like last week. Like, I feel so much better this week now. Like, I mentally, I know I have a break soon, and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. We can burn out. I can stay up till two, three o'clock in the morning. See? We have an emote. We have an emote for it. Okay, it's just pr princess. I'd pet, I'd pet the bean. I am. I am a passenger princess. Because I don't have a driving license. So I'm gonna get a shirt that says passenger princess. <laughs> passenger princess, more like pillow pussy. Did you say pillow pussy? Pillow princess. Oh, uh, I should get both. I put, I tweeted out last night, good night, guy, good night, everyone, and it was just a p fucking anime character hugging a pillow. I'm like, I would love to do that on a regular, but I feel like it would get old. <laughs> uh, doing good. I don't work today, so I'm going to be la a lazy fuck. Doctor, you'd be the laziest little fuck on the planet. You catch up on those animes. You watch those TV shows you've been wanting to watch. You eat all the ice cream that you can find in the tri-state area because the, the, the one state is not enough. And pizza, probably. I told my dad today, because we walked past pizza at Morrison's, I said, mm -hmm. I miss pizza. I said, I, one, thing I mi one thing I've really missed after I went gluten-free is pizza. And like, over time, I've just stopped caring about pizza because I just haven't had it in a long time now. So I just don't give a crap. I don't want more pizza. And then my dad's response mm. was, you know, they do gluten free pizza, right? And I said, have you tried gluten free pizza? It's terrible. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I would rather go through me throwing up for a couple of days than not uh, than that. Yes. <laughs> and he was like, oh, Tammy. Did you just join my chat to pee all over the floor? Did you just pee all <laughs> over my fucking chat? D d clean that up! C clean that up! No! Bad! <laughs> Bad! No peeing! Piss Someone piss clean up the chat! Someone clean up! I got that from Buff Pup, by the way, because one time I literally joined <laughs> Buff Pup's stream, saw, saw Arrive PP Leave, and I went, I saw Arrive PP Leave, my dyslexic ass read it as Arrive Pepe <laughs> Leave, and I was like, Arrive, and then he peed, and I went, I do not mean to do that, and then Buff's response was, bitch, did you just, my first message in her chat was that emote, just that emote. <laughs> So she saw it and went, oh, welcome to the, did you just pee in my chat? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm adding that. I like that one. I'm adding that. <laughs> Clip and now six, seven and nine. Buzz, stop pissing in my chat. What are you doing? Thank you, Pango. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I like, we got so many people using the PP, we added a fucking janitor emote as well, making me work. Oh wait, wait, Wraith, did the cancellation <laughs> thing work? The cancellation thing with Adobe worked for you, didn't it, right? It, it did, right? You want a three stick? Awesome! One person I haven't seen yet today is Tay, and they are bragging about not being addicted. They're on a 33 streak. If they turn up, they're on a 34. Do you think they're addicted? Apparently, they I... don't think they're addicted. They are addicted. Yeah, I think they're addicted. Yeah, it worked. Awesome. The outfit I'm wearing is so cute for me to piss on the ground. Why would you tell me that? Listen, being padded is the best for PP. I, 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 no. 
I'll come back after emptying this bottle of water. Okay, Tammy. It's, it's a fetish. I'm aware it's a fetish for some people. There is, apparently there is a fucking fetish with people that's basically nose rings, by the way. If you're wondering why I keep doing this, it's because they've got a nose ring and it wiggles when you move your finger near yeah. it. It's, it's, it's kind of addicted to, ooh. But yeah. It's just, just don't hook up a fucking nine ball badge to it, I will moan. Well, you just don't do that. What you do is you get one of those d the, 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 the little D ones and just go. Is it a D battery? The square ones with the things on the no, same side. That's nine volt. These these are like the big, basically the big, like the big the chunk lays, but like fat and chunky ones. Yeah. The big, the the fat chunkers. They're they're not used anymore. I don't know any device that uses those anymore. Oh, old nineties radios. That's it. But you can convert those to just standard batteries now. There's converts for them. Yeah. And the new versions of like AA and AAA are so good that they make up way more. They they like give more off and last longer than the big old ones. Ring pull. All right, Katie, how are you doing? Stop peeing in the chat. What version of Jayco's based out? <laughs> that are the are deep sea lights that still use D batteries. Can you imagine, like, a, a sex toy that still uses a D-battery? How fucking chunky that thing would be? Oh god. I mean, most of the time now, they're built in so they can be, like, waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> I am making pea soup. D-nuts. D's nuts! Uh. <laughs> uh, I, I should be standing on the bed, but it's, like, the best brightly lit area in this entire world. It's like the <clears throat> spot you're standing has the best lighting. <laughs> it's like really annoying because the way that the world is set up is it's just a straight port straight from um, uh, before the storm because they did that one in Unity. So it's mm -hmm. a straight port and the lighting system basically has it. So there's real world lighting here, but the rest is just simulated. But the light there doesn't cast light into the world. So it's just a light source with mm -hmm. no with no shadow on it. So it's like, oh. Interesting. <laughs> so it's just a straight port. It's a really nice world though. You get really, really good frame rates in here. Like I've got I've unlocked my headset and it just turned around and just went maxed out. Cool. Like this is probably mm -hmm. like even when I'm streaming, I'm still getting like perfect FPS in this world with no like you know that display jiggle? when the display isn't keeping up, but you're still rendering most of the frame and it's like a black border around the headset when you move your head around. I've never had that in this world. Sparkling green pea. But I'm not cool enough to meet Katie. Golden, if you were to go to TwitchCon and I met you at TwitchCon, I would, I, we, 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 would we could meet at TwitchCon. And also, I'm going to be talking to Neil. We're going to be bringing back, um... We're gonna be. I'm gonna be talking to Neil about making, um, doing regular community nights, cause like we really, uh, really need to get on them. Katzi, hi! Welcome into this stream. How are you doing? I feel like it's been forever. You doing okay? You doing good? Picato. So I was saying, I wish I could show my new VRC model. Oh yeah, one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is a post post TwitchCon um, community night. So doing a post TwitchCon community night within VR chat. So anyone who didn't go to TwitchCon, like, we can meet do a meet a little meet and greet. Um, yeah, all good. She, how is the Katie? I'm doing okay. I've been in my head and I'm trying to fight. I've been fighting my way out of the paper bag that is my brain. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now. Project shit got to me. I keep need, I I have a manager now to stop me from doing projects because <laughs> I just keep doing them. Can we put Katie in a maid dress at TwitchCon? If I get my weight down to a decent point for TwitchCon US, 
and you guys hit a big enough sub goal, I may do a real life maid outfit at TwitchCon. So it'll be easier to spot, which will be terrifying. And I'll probably have Dunny grab me, put me over the fireman, lift me out of the con, and yes. <laughs> Katie would look adorable in an outfit. No. Oof. Yeah, I, I, I keep getting in my own way. It sucks. I need to stop being in my own head. I need to network more. I, I keep I keep not talking with people. I, I get in my head and then I just go, I'm on my own, okay? I don't want to be around people. And then I'm like, why am I struggling? I'm like, shut up. Just, just go see people. Go outside. You don't need to touch grass, shit icky. Just see people. <laughs> You were doing what with paper? I was fighting my way out of a paper bag. And I know what that sounds like. I am not fighting paper bag. Maybe may, maybe a little bit of bed wrestling, but not fighting, fighting. Might have to ask them about that. <laughs> Just listening, we all know it would be a giggity moment. A what moment? He is cute in any outfit. Are we gonna have to fight? Do we do we need to fight? Do we need to throw up throw throw I was about to say throw up then that would have been awkward. Do we need to throw down? Do we need to What was that in the fucking Mission Impossible movies where the guy literally reloads his fucking arms? Like he's in a fight and he goes I'm like, what the fuck? Who does that? <laughs> Who reloads his biceps? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I think he, I think he had it where he had um, cufflings or something, and him going like that basically flicks them off or some shit, so it makes a bit of sense. Through to moment, huh? Mm -mm. In the lotion. I mean, that would be a good. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just sort of like my fight or something in the chat. Up, you say, "Oh, just we throw hands." I'm assuming it's like, like you and fucking Cat Catsy going at it. At it, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, I, that'd be a great piece. What? I feel like I, I feel yeah, like you, with you me. You Catsy mud wrestling. I feel like if I feel like with a lot of people, if I go to try and fight them, we'll just end up talking and then making out. It happens <laughs> way more than I think we'll people would care to admit. Like, what are we gonna do? I've got a beef with this bitch. What are you gonna do? We're gonna throw it, we're gonna throw shit down. Yeah. And then we just end up making out. I said, yeah, we were. <laughs> Ayo, I... It happens, like okay? Will just get I, I'm... Will... Here's the thing. I, I'm, I, I announce all the time, I'm a bitch. People don't believe me. I act a bit like a bitch. And then people are like, ah, oh, but I did give you warning, I gave people heads up. And then, and then I took it down and talk with someone, and then we talk it out. And then they find out that we like each other, and then we make out for about 20 minutes, and then we wonder what the fuck we were fighting about. And then, and then, and then, and then we don't talk for weeks. <laughs> and we don't talk for weeks, and then we eventually get back in contact, and then we become besties. It's happened like three times, actually. I'm just stupid. Uh. I don't, did you just purr or burp? I can't tell. Uh, whichever you, whichever you prefer, darling. I can't tell. <clears throat> yeah, as long as, as long as I've known you have been kind of a bitch, but an honest one. I, that's the thing, I tell people all the time I'm a bitch and they don't believe me. Then I'm a bitch and they're like, hey yo, why are you being a bitch? Oh wait, yo, give me warning. So they can't really get angry at you because you gave them a heads up. I need a drink. And then you just throw them at the wall. And you just throw, push them to the wall. You just put your hands over their shoulders, blocking their exit. And then the lips touch. Oh no, 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 that's a weak level shit. You don't do that. What you do is you... You grab them by the scruff of their neck, pin them against the wall, step back slightly so you can have enough space, get your right leg and you put it right by their ear, and then you press forward 
into them while simultaneously doing the splits, the moment they feel the heat from your crotch is the moment they start melting. Or they have to feel the heat emitting some... from from you, and they're like, I'm being cooked quite literally right now. <laughs> <laughs> Although my my brain is very much puppy coded, so I probably noted this noticed a scent before. The... I'm just gonna go and change the light. Ah. You know me. The boy. Ah, m man, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Be a bitch, but at least I'm a cute bitch. I'm not a cute bitch, the fuck? Also, damn it, Katie, now I'm horny. It's, it sounds like a you problem, sweetheart. Not a me. That sounds like an ish you, not an ish me. Okay? Sounds like you need another gooning session. We're not gonna do another gooning session. They already had one today. We don't need another one. You're not allowed to have a gooning session without a hype train. Them's the rules, okay? That them's are officially the rules. No goon session. No angry wand. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop. Calm it down. Calm down. No, no, no goon session. No goon. No gooning. Okay. Jake, I see what you're trying to do. Thank you so much for the ten biddies. Stop gooning. Stop gooning. Stop. Stop. My bed is a bitch tonight. Stop. I love how you broke the fucking go go gooning session in five minutes. No! No gooning session! Stop this! How did you both send the exact same message simultaneously? What the fuck? How does that happen? What did I what did, stop gooning? Guys, stop! It's weird! Why are you gunning like that? Because I copied that message. You copied that so quick! See, I'm glad I'm a wholesome bee most of the time. You are not a wholesome hun. I don't remember why I moved the ear now, because I, I sway my arms around and then it, it just it sits a fl flickering and it annoys me. There is a button that copies it for you. I did not know that. Kind of cool. If you just hover a message, there is a copy button and it copies. Ah, uh, okay. Is that an ear, by the way? This isn't. Th this isn't ear. Me. They're like a bun oh, bun. Actually, saying about. Saying about the ears, Katie, what you need to do is um, lift up the right ear and then have a look. Right one would be... My right. My right. This side? Yeah, that's all. What am I looking for? It's on, it's on the back of the hoodie. <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. He's got a little fucking emote thing on the back of his hoodie. I see a t I see a tushy. How are you wholesome? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really lewd in the VR chat. I like booba, but I'm not a loody. I think embracing who you are regardless is a good thing. Uh, okay. Why are you still wandering, Tammy? Calm it. No gooning. Goon session ended. Goon session didn't even get to start today. <laughs> I wonder if Twitch actually does track um, mess uh, emotes from other services along with their own. 
I'm awesome sometimes, but I can't can just be horny D Gen 2. I just try to be myself. I'm generally just me all the time. I'm a little more like I'm a lot more just like not lewd when I'm like around family for obvious reasons, but like in general, I'm just me all the time. <coughs> Sorry. Hi doctor! You licking thigh? Huh? The motion is etched on my bicep muscle memory. <laughs> is that why you're sad wanging? It's not good. You shouldn't sad wang. You should wang when you're happy. It makes everything better in the end. If you if you if you if you if you, if you wang when you're sad, you get post nut depression. If you wang when you're happy, you get post nut ecstasy. Being the ludi small bean gets you into trouble. I just prefer cuddles and not nuzzles. Yeah, that's the thing though. Those aren't those. Those are still somewhat lewd to some people. People pee pot. A what? I'm gonna go onto the floor because I'm realizing how much few how small a space I've got upon the on the bed. Sorry, I was comfy. Okay. And I had a good view. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Need a bigger bed key. I chose this well because I wasn't expecting company. And then Zisco was like, hey, can I join? And you love to be on this side of me, don't you? I don't know which one's the best side. I mean, just, all the sides are pretty good. Go on the go on the corner of the bed. There's no jump in this world, by the way. There you go. <laughs> I've accepted that part of me. Yeah, it's just part of your body. It, it it's part of who you are and it's part of your personality. And I don't think that's a problem. Every it's it's human nature to wish to do that type of stuff, and it's perfectly fine and acceptable. Fun fact, anyone calling someone else a pervert for doing something is usually in the closet about doing the exact same thing. It's just reality. Most people who do it and accept it don't give a crap. Most people who do do it and don't accept it and think it should be normal call other people who do it perverts. It's called a perversion uh, and against normal normalcy. And most of the people who claim others are it. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfectly normal to be a giga slut. Yeah. It's perfectly normal to be a little slut simply because human nature is about wanting to reproduce. And you can't really reproduce without being a slut. To a degree. Like, it, it, the whole, oh, you should get married before you have sex thing is just stupid. You should, you, you should definitely you should definitely try and do stuff with someone before you get married you you think you if you're unless yeah you should definitely try and do stuff with someone before marriage like there was that guy who turned around and said oh i've never kissed someone and I, i'm waiting until i get married before i kiss someone i've never had sex with someone before and wait until i get married yeah he turned around and got married kissed the person uh, on the wedding day, that was the first time he ever kissed anyone else. He was awkward as fuck with it. Um, then he had sex with them, obviously. Um, after the after the afterwards, and they were like cool. Um, and apparently he liked it, and then he went through a massive perverted stage. And um, yeah, yeah, he went he went off the rails because he waited so long, and then he went. He went the whole, um, you know how, how an American dad, the dad was like really prudish and then he started to explore his sexuality and he turned out he just had every kink. Yeah, that was that guy. He literally went off the rails and just did everything, tried everything. And then he ended up leaving his wife. Apparently. 
I might have done that quite a bit. There's nothing wrong with doing that. God, it's so fucking hot. I have my window open and my fan on me and it's still hot as fuck. How hot is it for you? Uh, not too hot today, if I'm hot. Uh, it must be because I'm in VR. I've nearly filled my kink card. I didn't get to do my 20s, and so my kink card is kind of more empty than I'd like to admit. With real life, at least. I tr trust me, in the US, it's hot and it's been killer over here. It's called climate change. It's hot everywhere. It's worse than India. It's really bad in, um, like, the um, uh, Arabic countries as well. They've got a massive heat wave going. They've had, like, a thousand deaths or something this year from heat exhaustion. I think statistically they've had, like, a 300% increase in people coming forward with um, heat-related health issues. It's called Too Many Cars. Actually, it's called industry. <laughs> it's called industry more than the cars. Cars don't help, but it, uh, yeah, industry does way worse. For Issy, was it not? Um, I think somewhere is hitting like mid 40s, actually. I, I, I don't actually know the numbers. I just know it's really bad. It's the plastic in the ocean. I think it's a combination of everything. You can't. The problem is, is everyone wants to pin it down to one thing, and I think it's the com the combination and culmination of everything in one go. That's the problem. We've had a minio for years, and we're gonna be we've we've had a minio for like ten years or so now. We should get the opposite. There is an opposite effect which is supposed to happen as well. God, it's raining here and cooling it down for. A the Arabic. We've at least been getting splatters of rain here. So we get really, really nice warm days, and then the nights we get a bit of rain. Which is nice, but yeah. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the middle in the mid midday sun. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. You're at the cutie. I, I, I was waiting to call you yeah, as I'm wa working on calling you it, but have fun, see you, love you. I'm not cute, but have a wonderful day. I would've got that work, hon. Mwah. Nay, nay. Uh, it's so warm. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, it's new Doctor Who today. I completely forgot it's new Doctor Who. Okay, oh. new Do we get to see the next episode, which is to do with uh, Sute. Yeah, I've been keeping up with it this time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Actually, I want to see who's on. And the ratings are down. What are the ratings? Huh? What, what do you mean by that, hun? You need to be really, really straight. If you're gonna say something, you need to explain it. I don't know what you're talking about. Bitch, the fuck are you on about? Not doing as well as the hopes. Huh? The Mecca's was 55 Celsius, then you said it's hot. Homicidal temperatures. Oh, it's really, really bad. Got to go, go. Got to go, going to go paint my toenails whilst my family is still out. Awesome! Have fun painting your toenails. I might actually do my nails. Uh, for, for I might actually paint my nails. By the way, ads. You got two minutes of ads in about sixty seconds. So make sure you. Yes. Oh, not doing as well. New Doctor Who. Oh yeah, it's because of racists. Jake, that's it. It's just because of racists. Genuinely, that's it. That it's just because people, it's just because um, the common BBC viewer is over the age of 60 and they're just not, yeah. 
it's the ratings are lower simply just because of racism i'm enjoying the new sh the new season because shuti is such a fucking good actor and the story and the plot is amazing and it's doing so it, i'm enjoying it like crazy so far there's none of this over the top over there's none of that stupid over the top super blatant obvious staring at the camera giving people the whole climate change is bad everyone we should stop having plastics and putting it into our oceans we need to clean up the planet oh my god this is the only planet we have oh my god there's none of that this time around it's genuinely just like hi good story cool that's it it's good worth watching it's the disney influence me thinks i don't think there's anything to do with the disney influence though i did hear about in florida disney executives at the disneyland are in a lot of fucking trouble because apparently they refuse to hire white men they refuse to hire white guys and if uh, there is a person who is applying for a job and they're not and i quote they're not black enough <laughs> they're the wrong level of black they can't get the job either apparently i'm not just saying that by the way genuinely i saw a fucking video on it of some executive talking to an employer or talking to some uh someone who is like a hiring manager talking about their policies and it's like whoa what the fuck disney and sci-fi don't mix i think the but the thing is this i personally I hear both Katie and the ads. That sounds good. I mean, I'm guessing it's just probably a subtle ad then. Um, the thing is, is I think Disney, Disney is probably running smartest when Disney is probably at its smartest when it just purchases the rights to be able to put something out there. I think it's bad when Disney goes, oh, we're going to take this thing and we're going to completely rewrite the structure. It shouldn't be we're gonna take it and rewrite the structure it's gonna be we're gonna we're gonna take the rights to be able to post this on our website we're gonna have fuck all influence on it it's like how they shouldn't influence bluey they shouldn't influence doctor who it makes no sense for them to do it the show's successful it's on being on the air for like what 60 years at this point just leave it the fuck alone i'm gonna fix cisco's ear now there we go now they have sit. Now they have. You. Now they have full set. Now they have full sat nav capabilities. I finally can pick up the five G once again. Yes. As they do. Why do my balls feel funny? <laughs> <laughs> what? P pick up the five G signals. Oh no! Why my balls? Feel did you hear about that village that out of nowhere overnight got a 5G tower just plopped in the middle of one of their uh, in, um, in the middle of one of their like paths? Like they the no, council the council came by in this small town. There's this main road and there's a small path that goes down the side, and the council put a 5G tower right in the middle of the fucking path. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there going like. You could have moved it, like, a little bit to the side, you know, where there's, like, an embankment. They could have just put it on the embankment. No, they slap yeah. it right there. And it's a huge, hung, huge, huge, huge tower thing with its box thing right there. And you're just sitting and they're looking and like, what? Why? Huh? Wait, I'll wait and see. I'll get... The 15 inch disc cutter already <laughs> oh no that's the thing though the whole it's the best it's the fastest internet in that entire village is the 5g connection now it gets all their internet connection there is no point in having a personal connection uh, like a personal landline connection in that village just get a good fucking sim deal with unlimited data you gucci mm -hmm. 
but it's like so stupid that the council didn't think hi this it's a small path with a busy road next to it so your options so the options for the elderly trying to go from walk from one town to the next to try and stay a bit fit and active is choose to slide down a fucking embankment or walk in the fucking busy road nice open reach you did good I grab my titties. Oh wait, no, I'm just punching them. <laughs> but it's so dumb. We shall wait and see. As they do. I have but yeah. I don't know what to talk about now. I ran out of things to talk about. Fuck! I hate that this keeps happening. Um, did you hear- wait. Did you hear what happened at the Kendrick Lamar show? No, I didn't. I was thinking, wait, hang on. I, I, I got Kendrick confused with fucking Travis Scott at, the, at that point. I'm just like, oh no, did he call some sort of fucking so... surge? So, you know the Crips and the Bloods in America are like who are the biggest, oh. most violent gangs who were very big rivals? Mm -hmm. You know there's the whole diss track thing, go there's a whole beef going between Kendrick Lamar and Drake at the moment, and Kendrick Lamar accused yeah. uh, Drake of being a paedophile and he made a diss track song on it, and it's now like one of his most popular songs of all time, which is saying something considering the songs he has made. Um, he went on stage, it's sponsored by Amazon, he got it sponsored by Amazon, it got live streamed on Amazon, right? And the whole concert, this whole concert got, um, live streamed with it, right? He sang the diss track song, I shit you not, six fucking times. And on one of them, he got both the Crip, uh, he both got Crip, um, rappers and the Bloods rappers on stage dancing together. He got the Crips and the Bloods God. on stage with no conflict whatsoever, basically calling out Drake for being a, uh, let's just say the only song tracks he can hit are, uh, mm, mm. like fucking how the fuck did this guy make a diss track which ended a war which has been going it ended a fucking gang or well halted a gang war for a night which has been going on since i think the 70s or 80s late 70s early 80s some shit like that like oh, how i was a long time that's like got 40 50 years of gang violence right there ended for a night just a core fucking drink and, like what <laughs> He did it six times. One time he did it twice back to back. He got fucking <laughs> Dr. Dre on stage. He, he got Dr. Dre on stage to announce it at one point. I'm like, dude, the oh fuck? <laughs> he pulled him out. He, I think he pulled him out of fucking retirement to announce that. I'm like, dude. <laughs> it's like turned, it turned into like one of the biggest fucking media events of the week. And that's including fucking Taylor Swift. And Taylor Swift's shit is like, what the fuck? <laughs> Discussion of why British British plugs are the best in the world for a night. He got them on stage, not fighting for a night hunt. You have no idea how fucking good that is. Yeah, he got literally, he, it's, it's, it, it's, it's like, what the fuck? And the fucking camera work was nuts. Like, there's a part in the song where he does, where he says, like, a same, the same word repeatedly, and the camera jumped between multiple locations, all of them tracking him perfectly, with every time he did it, I'm just sitting there going, like, what? <laughs> Everyone, including the film crew, were dancing along. I'm like, my god, the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, it's like one of the, like, the mo and I've seen the video a couple of times now, it's like, it's actually a fucking great concert. He got, um, he got another artist on stage as well, who's like a, a rare show. I can't remember his name. Yeah, he got another, he got another music artist on stage and did some songs as well. 
on stage and he like rarely shows up to concerts i think or other people's concerts i can't remember i might be wrong discussion on why british plugs are the best in the world the reason why british plugs are the best in the world is because the standard for our plugs are actually the highest in the world and we have the safest design and it sounds really stupid if you own an airbnb or a hotel i put a universal fucking plug in every room please Every accessible plug should be a universal plug. I don't understand why they go, Oh, we're just gonna do it. Like, please. I, I, do you do you not understand? Do you... I, I don't get why, cunt, why, why every accessible plug in, like, a hotel and Airbnb isn't just a universal plug at this point. It just makes so much sense. They have deals with the plug. But, but it's like... If I were... Also just sanitize everything. <sighs> Just mi just do it. If I were if I was an if I had the money and I had an Airbnb, I would put like a plug in the middle of the wall uh, in the wall designed for the person coming in to like use next to a fucking table to charge like a laptop or something. Plug in the middle of the wall. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, I'm just gonna put a universal plug there. Are you gonna do the same over there? Yeah, every accessible plug is a universal plug. Everything uh, which is. Everything which is like built in where they shouldn't be plugging and unplugging shit, keep that shit local standard. Cause it's like, yeah. Earth earth pin? Yeah, we've got earth, our plugs have an earth pin and we also have a fuse in our fu in, in our plug. Jake, when the fuck have you decided to shift the gears to the convers for the conversation over to hi, we're gonna talk about plugs now? You are talking about like wall plugs and not butt plugs, right? Hi Fiona! I'm really, really hot right now. I'm actually kind of a bit nauseous. It's like, ooh. Uh. Hi Tay! How's your addiction going? Was it 34 today or is it 35? I can't remember. Good morning, hun. You doing okay? You're always hot. No, I'm very warm though. I don't know what to talk about. I ran out of shit to talk about. <laughs> to be honest, I I should have told Cisco to ask me to uh, ask um, to rejoin on me in like an hour or so. Thought I thought I'm why I just woke up temp not to be out. Good morning, hun. Hello there, Cyber. You okay? Are you going to TwitchCon next week? I can't remember if you said you are. Why are you not bothering with it this year? You yap too much? I didn't yap too much. The thing is, is normally I go with the flow, but when I'm with someone else, the flow is completely separate. So it doesn't feel the same. And this one's been quiet, fairly quiet for about 10 minutes or so. But they're, well, they're gone somewhere now. Nerd, bruh, you should, bruh, you should know. Cyber, I have what's called goldfish brain. No, I have bimbo brain. I'm pissing. You better not pee all over my floor. Good, use a toilet, boob brain. I have bimbo brain. I, that, I, I can't remember a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember a lot of stuff. I'm at 18 streak. Nice! You've managed to keep your streak even whilst you're uh, traveling. That's kind of cool, hun. Hi, Golden. Do not pee all over the floor! Why the fuck would you arrive to piss all over the place? Bad! Why? I move the camera up slightly. Stop peeing! Cisco, I just wanna fuck. I need a mod, they're pissing again! Mod! Mod! I might see if I can set the bot up to detect that and then give the fucking janitor as a response. Pretty sure I could do that. I think it's mobbed.
I'm pretty sure I'm covering Heineken in, in I'm I'm covering Heineken into Heineken. What? Converting Heineken into Heineken. What? I don't know what you're Well, yes, Katie, it was easier to catch your stream since we were closer to, in time zones. True! True, but you are traveling. Which is a bit, bit different. You managed to catch my stream even when you shouldn't have been watching my stream. I can't believe you watched that stream in public, by the way. Will we be good at doing that? I haven't gotten drank. I'm, I'm, uh. I'm back. Fuck you. Why you jump scare me? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm so skittish. For me, the highest streak I can get is A, then it res resets itself again. Is that just a glitch? I feel like that's just a glitch. Katie, I am a giga slut. I have no shame. No, you're not a giga slut. You're just exploring yourself. There's a difference. A giga slut will be going out to a nightclub and probably sleeping with four or five people before they even leave. And then going home with probably the most disgusting prick there. Hello, Fried. Hello, Friedman. Nice hat. Thank you. Welcome into the dream. Sorry, I'm fiddling with my earring. I need to clean it. I can't tell if that's grip points or if that's gunk. Because I can't see it. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Thanks for the idea. No. 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 But yeah, Friedman, how are you doing? I'm hoping you've been doing okay. You've been taking care of yourself. Whoa, sorry, the eyes moved and I realized that's a person, not a wallpaper. That's a furry. That's not a person. That's a furry. So are you, Katie. You are a furry. I'm not a furry. I'm a furry sympathizer. There's a difference. Uh, can we get this? I, did, you, I didn't catch that. What the fuck did you say? You said like one word and it cut out. Yeah, can we can we get Katie to fucking fuzz it next year? How, what? No. Furries are people too. Of course they are. But they do they do like to identify themselves as their persona to a degree. I don't even know what this is. Is this a rabbit? Yes. Let's get Katie into a furry convention. I'm not a furry. I won't work. Also, I'm doing okay. How have we met before? Ah, uh, no. I like to make people feel welcome, and I'm sorry. I had that at me. No, your first message was a cup was a couple of minutes ago when you were saying hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just making sure that you're doing okay. I like to make sure people are okay, okay? I'm a I'm a people pleaser and it sucks. <laughs> like I'm really really annoyed if I can't make everyone happy, but I try my hardest and I'm trying to get into my head that, that I'm not gonna be able to make everyone happy. Rubber bunny. Yeah, I'm not no. Still a bottom. Cyber, when you like to try it. <laughs> Yes, we, I like to make poor sure people are okay. Everyone in my chat, okay. You've talked in the chat. It's up to me to now determine, to, to give you a heads up and a warning. Uh, you may uh, experience signs of addiction. If you come back tomorrow, I'm sorry, it's too late for you. Um, I will be taking a week off. So you might actually, um, I'm taking next weekend off. So you might be able to get away with uh, not getting full high levels of addiction. But if I see you the week after, then it might be too late. We do not offer, um, uh, we do not have like, um, alcohol, our own version of Alcoholics Anonymous here either. You have to live with your addiction of watching me all the time. So I introduce myself. You can just say hello. You don't have to introduce yourself if you don't want to. Hello, how is everyone? How's it going? Good morning, Moon! Also, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it, hon. 
I just genuinely think you'd have a lot of fun at a furcon. I don't know how I would go to one. I'm not a furry. It's is it's is what? It's is sweet. Yeah. I send dudes. I need backup. <laughs> you want to know a sentence which gets people? Hmm. Type out cloth gowns only. And then tell me uh, it doesn't look like goth clowns only. I sent that to someone. I sent that to Kim. And they said goth clowns? Question mark? I said it says cloth gowns. <laughs> and it was like, no, it said goth clowns. Fuck you, I don't care. I was like, bitch, the fuck? I might tweet that, actually. I, just, I might tweet that. I'm going to tweet that. I'm going to tweet goth, uh, cloth, cloth gowns. Cloth. Right. Cloth gowns. Cloth gowns only in No, I, I, cloth gowns only. Show me <laughs> extra confusion. Goth clowns, new king unlocked. There you go. I tweeted a thing. <laughs> some. Uh, I know so many goth clowns would be kind of hot if they were big booba. Oh, you 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 can't you can't have a big titty goth girlfriend without um the big without the big titty. Goth clowns must Google. <laughs> All you need is a ticket. Uh, you don't need to be a furry. I know, but it's going to conventions, hon. You need to realize that going to the conventions can be quite expensive, especially depending on where they are in the world. And because it, it's not just the travel to get there, it's not just the travel to get there, it's staying somewhere and food and shit there. So it turns from a, oh, it's only like a hundred dollars to like get there and be at the convention. And then it's two to three hundred for like staying somewhere. And then another two to three hundred for like eating. And then like you're going out with your friends for at least one night. That's another hundred. It's like, oh shit, that's quite expensive now. Isn't Confuzzle it's in the UK? I don't know where it is. Yeah. Well, in the UK, it's in Birmingham and um, Hotel. Uh, attendance ticket and breakfast is included in the prize. Huh. Then it's just down to you, like, feeding yourself a dinner and trying not to blow all your money on booze and furry art. Nobody listed. I think I'd rather go to a... I, I know at TwitchCon this year, I'm planning to pick up... I'm going... Me and, me and Neil are going down the artist alley to try and find some artists. And we'll actually, we're actually looking for some hentai artists, by the way. Like, I'm actually looking at finding some hentai artists. Um, but my plan is, is whilst I'm at TwitchCon, mm -hmm. is we're going to be trying to find some normal artists. I've decided with emotes and, like, uh, badges and stuff for, like, chat, I'm going to make them myself because I'm going to be getting the new iPad. So I want to use it for, like, mm -hmm. drawing. And I want to... So, and my plan is to do art streams, like, every Monday. So we're going to be... We'll be doing, like, art stream once uh, a week, covering me doing um, emotes and stuff. So... I'll just do all of those myself. And if I don't like an emote or if I don't feel like it's good enough, I'll just redo it until I'm happy. Because it's just, it is what it is. It's just me streaming. Like, I could literally do a four or five hour stream of me working on one emote.
I was jokingly looking to see how much a ticket would cost because I was thinking it would be funny to give Katie a ticket, fucking £485 for a t single ticket. Like, um, like, like Cisco mentioned though, that covers like accommodation and stuff like that as well so it kind of makes sense for the whole convention the problem is well actually no because if it's in the uk i could literally just jump on the train and go straight home and i can bring a big bag with me so i'll be like mm. how are you this day i'm doing good it's kind of warm where i am though wouldn't it <laughs> or you can eat a oh, whoa I mean, it's a furry convention. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple of Vore enjoyers there. <laughs> you must sit, you just admitted you would easily be able to get transportation to and from. Yes, I can easily get transport to and from. Doesn't mean it's going to be cheap. Hey, Zodiac. Ew. You're on my screen. You're in my screen right now. I can't really see you. Hi. Hi. I have my screen. Hi. I just. <laughs> I'm streaming. Hmm. Yeah, time for some I see. I see. food. I'm going to get some Applebee's. Ah! Oh, I've never tried Applebee's. How is it? I. I don't. We don't uh. get. We don't get Applebee's in the UK. I think. Actually, I might be wrong. There might be a handful of locations in the UK, but. Non confirmable. <laughs> Hi, it's been a while. Hi. You mean okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You've been sleeping in. You've been sleeping in. You've been sleeping in VR a lot. Oh, did you stop doing that? I still do, not as often due to this heat and such, but uh, I just haven't find myself willing to do it on, you know. I need to turn the no, music down. No, you're fine, you're fine. I'm going to give me a drink of my soda as yes. Yes. I got an amazing bottle. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I, got a, Hi, I got a bottle of Bailey's and it has s'mores flavored in it. Oh god, it's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. Okay, it's surrounded by two fairies, it's a sign. I've known this one for a while. I, I've known this one for a while. This one's really, really precious. I, I've known it this one for a while as well. This one's very much precious. <laughs> you said Bailey's. Bailey's is nice. I, you can get um, you can get uh, yes. Bailey's mint chocolate. I think it's like a really nice oh, cream. Oh, cookies. Bailey's cookies. Oh my god. They do, they do Bailey, they do Bailey, I think there's a Bailey's Oreo one you can get as well. Oh my god. Did you read the hair advice I gave you? I did read through it. I was in call with my, um, with my, um, my cosmetologist and we actually sat down and we went through and we been, were looking. First thing they told me to do is I told them the shampoo and the conditioner that I use and they actually advised me, bitch, stop using that right away. Just get rid of the bottles. I'm gonna tell them no, I'm gonna hold back a couple, I'm gonna hold back the two bottles because they don't spoil and I'm just gonna get some new stuff to replace it and then just hold them back so if I need to wash my hair and I don't have anything I've got them. I like to have backups just in case. I've got backup toy toothpaste and other things as well so it makes sense. Um, and we're, ju we're, going we're trying to find some products and I'm just gonna go out and get them. But I need to, I'm, 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 I use Tresemme and I need to get rid of the Tresemme because apparently it's super bad for your hair. And we're coming up with a regime and a routine to give my hair life before I go get it cut. And apparently it'll be about, be about two or three weeks of me doing that. And it'll be like a regular thing that I need to do. What did they say about the routine I gave you? Um, they didn't really say anything about it. Which says to me it's not as horrible routine, but obviously because they're my they're they're, they're my uh, cosmetologist. They're, they're, I'm actually planning. They're my cosmeto they're my cosmetologist and my um they do makeup and shit as well. So they're my hair and my makeup specialist. Um, I'm planning to bring them to TwitchCon next year, so I obviously trust them. But yeah, where are the best biscuits for drink? What are the what? What did they say 
about the routine. Oh wait, fucking multiple messages going on. <laughs> what are the best biscuits for drink for dunking in Bailey's? Uh cookies. You can do gluten free cookies and it's still <laughs> fucking nice. Like nice chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip with hazelnut cookies. Fucking dope. Or say yes, you oh. did succeed in that in that K. What did I succeed at? Of course, okay, of course, Bailey's is nice. You're the person who got me hooked on it. I told you to try it, Bailey's with ice cream. Bailey's with ice cream and oh. cookies is the biggest shit on the planet. It's so fucking nice. <laughs> cookie. Yeah, I got a dunk cookie. <laughs> we dunk cookie in the cook. We gotta get. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta get cookie, and then we gotta get them drunk on Bailey's, and then we can dunk them. <laughs> in the bedroom, of course. Yeah. Damn, yeah, I think they might do it. I know. And we're gonna actually. I wanna get like actual s'mores and just like eat that and drink the drink. <laughs> I mean, Cookie, do you want me to give you another lesbian crisis? I can, I can make you sexual, question your sexuality again if you want. <laughs> you know I don't drink, really. I, I mean, I don't drink, I very rarely drink. I think people who say they don't drink, you're fucking French. You can't tell me you don't drink and you're from France. Like, wine is like a staple. I can't tell if I'm crashing or if everyone's just standing still. You're just standing still. <laughs> <laughs> this what? one's in desktop, so there's like no movement going on, and then you're just standing there like... And I'm like, I did I crash? <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> okay, uh... seriously. I understand, hun. I very- I, I'm- I'm honest. I'm honest. I'm very, 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 very rarely drink. I'm planning to drink next weekend just because I'm going away. Um, and then time after that I plan on drinking is going to be TwitchCon US and I'm going to get properly drunk at TwitchCon US because I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> it's going to be fun. The best part about Rotterdam that you didn't, need, that you didn't have to worry about at Paris is that uh, Rotterdam has bars where Paris is barren. You're cutting was, out like, quite, quite often. Uh, Twitch, uh, TwitchCon, when it came to Paris, there was like no, there was, I think there was only like two bars. Oh. In like a 20 30 oh. mi minute walk radius, whereas like Rotterdam, mm. there's fucking tons. Does this sound really stupid? If they were to do <laughs> TwitchCon US in the UK, I feel like the best place for them to do it would be the Olympic, you know, the old Olympic town thing that they made. It's basically fucking empty at this point. I don't know why they just don't turn it into a huge convention thing. Like, the old Olympic Stadium from, like, 2012, which is probably, like, yeah. They got tons of accommodation there for all the fucking athletes that they had. I mean, but, that would be great, but London, it would just be expensive. True, but that's why everything there, you got the whole, even, like, hotels and shit. Mm. The first thing I'm... Uh, going to get when I turn 21 is a bottle of Bailey's and I'm going to make myself a milkshake Golden, do you know what you do when you do, you know what you do? <gasps> tell people on your 21st birthday that uh. you're, you've you gone to you tell them you went when you went to Europe You tried Bailey's and it was your favorite um, alcohol that you tried there Tell everyone you want to try the different types of Bailey's and then ask everyone to get you Bailey's for your 21st birthday Tell them you just want to get rent all the different types. No money, no nothing. You can become a Bailey's alcoholic, like a Bailey's exclusive alcoholic. Be that bitch. <laughs> I have tried drinking before. It's not for me. I very rarely drink. I like the fruity, ni nice light stuff. I don't like the sh super strong alcoholy stuff. I think it's like... Uh, uh, uh. Hi Terrace, are you here to tell me I'm such I should stop advising alcohol? It's okay. I understand. <laughs> Terrace is a tellerofferer. 
Can I still get very big changes on HRT at 18, 19, and 20, even though I finished puberty? Fiona, if I told you that you can get massive changes from HRT if at the ages of 40, uh, at the ages of 30, 40, and 50, would you believe me? You're fine. You are more than fine. HRT is literally you doing puberty all over again. I had to convince my mum, I had to convince my mum that I'm essentially going through puberty again, so I'm sorry for being a whiny little bitch. And she didn't believe me. And then she joined me at the fucking gender clinic, and then the person who was giving, who was talking with us, literally said, oh, she's legitimately going through puberty again. You should be patient with her. She should be more in control this time, but she's genuinely going through puberty again. And my mum has just assumed that I've been in puberty ever since and not talked to me because she doesn't want to deal with me in puberty. I'm pleasant, hope, I think. I, I, I'm a little emotional here and there, but I'm, I'm way more pleasant. I'm, I'm pretty more pleasant than what I used to be. I come back from food and hear you corrupting the youth with your promise of alcohol. I made no promises of alcohol. How much money do you think I make, Terrace? How can I promise everyone in this chat alcohol? I am not that much money. <laughs> okay, you have a huge influence on me. Just be aware of the power that you hold. I'm aware. I I'm aware. That's the reason why I genuinely, um, I, I always think before I give you advice and I always give you little disclaimers. If you go through puberty again, does that mean your brain goes... You're on blue, do you mind going orange? Ah, yeah, yeah, sorry. They're a good friend, I don't worry, sir. Yeah. What's that animal it's just them, it's you, just, you. It's just them streaming. It is still up to you to act on that info. You can't talk, talk yourself out sorry, of your I, own I, actions. I'll, I'll True! True! I know. Literally just here to say I've halfway fixed my connection to my VR set. So. so I don't I don't wanna interrupt them. They're doing their thing key. <laughs> Only problem with this world is it's very small. I know. <laughs> it's so, it's a good world. You can get on the roof if you run at the chair enough though. What? If you yeah you if you go go now go towards the chat and then you go zip to the ceiling. Oh, no. <laughs> Just don't fall off. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Golden, promise me this: be responsible with the alcohol when you start drinking. Okay. I will. I will say this: if you do turn around and ask people to get you Bailey's. For your but for your twenty first, I don't feel that that's a bad thing. Just don't drink it all in one night. A bottle should last you about four or five days of you drinking it daily. Okay, don't be one of those people. Like turn around and say, "I'm gonna have this this weekend, and then another one next weekend, and then eventually I'll run out of them eventually." Don't be like, "I'm just gonna have them all in one go." Okay, it's still on your on my list to one day try and rebuild that world with the door with the downstairs i would love this world with the downstairs even if it means someone literally ripping both of the models and then just slapping them next to each other and actually having a mirror which isn't terrible i like that they have the whole void option in the space but the actual mirror is a uh, way better because it's just flat land in there it's literally just flat land. Like, it's liminal space. See this? That is a furry ass. That, that is furry ass. I have to stand like here. I promise I will be responsible. You better be. Give your, here's what you do. You always make sure you give yourself a three to four day gap between drinking alcohol, okay? Don't go one day to the next to the next. 
Only problem is, is uh, things have static message, so I will have to play around a bit to get that works. Do you know what you could do, Terrace? What you do is you just, here's what I would do. You take this map, so you take the bedroom, the landing area and the downstairs and the outside area with the backyard right and you mu you put them all so they overlap and they line up right remove all the colliders and then just manually remake all the colliders that's how i would do it so you can have the upstairs and the downstairs on their on their own <laughs> yeah you are you are responsible for your own Actions. Yeah. But she's my role model and she's given me, always given me uh, good actions. I'm terrified that I'm a role model. Please, I, I, that's overwhelming. Don't call me a role model. But you are still very much responsible for your own actions. I can only do so much. I can only advise you so much. I really wish you to think before you do stuff. Are you getting ads? Ads in progress. Shit. If you rip worlds with the static meshes or uh, static message or goes to hell, but I know of a tool to fix that, especially if you try to combine two. Well, um, <sighs> sounds really stupid. I could maybe talk to someone and maybe get permission. I could maybe get permission from a friend for you to put to to work on that officially. Cause I already know that there's a map which takes you outside. Oh my itchy ear again. I have access to the game files. Yeah, but I can give you permission so you can actually do it. You forget I used to talk, I used to be friends with people who work at Deck 9 who was working on this project. Because, yes. You, you forget I have friends from Deck 9. <laughs> oh, by the way, I kind of contacted one of my friends and told them I'm sorry for my views and opinion on the new trailer for the new game. And their response literally was, oh, don't worry about it. We had no control over the trailer. That was all of their uh, publishing company. I forgot what the publisher's called now. It's a big studio. Fuck. So, uh, c fuck, my brain's blanked. But yeah, I told them, sorry for being a bit of a rant. I think the trailer for the game, it, I, I feel like the trailer just revealed too much. And they were like, mm, yeah, so. But yeah, Golden. You are responsible for your own actions, and I'm sorry for being, like, a role model for you. That ta that sounds terrifying. I feel like if I took my game art knowledge a bit more seriously instead of video editing, I could have maybe worked on a game dev company. Tay, on my, on my to-do list as a content creator, like, my goal is I want to get to a point where I'm big enough so I can start my own studio. Like, I want to start my own studio, but my brain just goes, I can't juggle too much shit at one go. I got bills to pay, and I do love doing this. But game development is still, like, my big passion. It's that one thing that I genuinely love to do. Um, but, like, yeah. I want to do my own thing. Gotta juggle small bits. I gotta, the thing is, is you gotta juggle the priorities along with the stuff which, um... You got to juggle priority shit along with other stuff as a content creator. Like you've got your big goal. It's like it's like working in the porn industry. You want to be a journalist. You want to be a this. You want to be a that. But you still got to do porn because it's like the one thing that pays your bills. Like you want to you want to be the bit. You want to be the better things which you enjoy, and you have a passion behind. But you do the stuff which you need to do to survive. Also, Square Enix is the publisher. Yeah, that's the one I remember. Thank you, Taris, for reminding me. Doing corn sounds fun. Uh, uh, it has its moments. A lot of the people you'll meet can be assholes. 
Google for the win. Yeah, I just forgot the name. Very tempted to hop on. Why are you tempted to hop on, huh? Are we mentally and physically texting? Oh, it is. Yeah, doing that type of stuff is very exhausting because like, you have a rule, depending on the stuff you're doing for a shoot, you have like a set, of, you have a set thing of rules. Like you have to do like, uh, in some cases you have to do like week long detoxes before you can go on doing certain shoots. And those detoxes are terrible. They are horrendously hard on your body. They can kill, I, I known a few people who almost, who, who basically got put in hospital for doing those detox. What do you mean detoxing? If you're doing certain fun stuff, right? Maybe it's a, may, maybe it's a type of uh, adult content, which you, uh, may, maybe that a certain type of content. Your body has a general function within that area and it wants to do certain things. You have to have a, they give you, most companies will give you a very specific diet with certain foods to help clear the area to make it cleaner for things to be done there. And um, the detox diet will be about a week long. It consists of about tons and tons of water, loads of fiber, and it really kills you because it yes because it's really low calorie high as fuck fiber loads of water and then you've got to do like diuretics and shit was it diuretics i can't remember the stuff that make uh, um laxatives and stuff yeah it's like Ew. it puts it really drains all your energy oh what if you're an amateur and don't go to a, to a company if you decide to work with certain people, which is what you'll want to do to get your your uh, your name and your eyes out there, um, they will request that you do the ty that type of stuff anyway, because it's more it's actually a standard. You can be an amateur, but you'll be doing solo stuff. Most people start off with solo stuff, and I'm not gonna turn around and give you advice on how to do stuff in that industry because I left it many many moons ago. I don't know, kept on saying how I want to meet ya, so I could maybe do it here. Um, maybe off stream. I like, I know Cisco and I know Zodiac. Need to make a rule of don't be blue. <laughs> You're in the industry. I did the industry for about two to three, I did the industry for about two years. Um, when I worked in the games industry, that my five years in the games industry had a tail end of about two years of it also doing that type of stuff and it fucking i almost got i almost hop, hospitalized myself about three times because of the diet i'm too shy to ask to, to ask what yep fiber does does the trip it does Join us in meetups then, Katie says she wants to do one after TwitchCon, if I remember correctly. I did, you need to, I need to make sure I poke uh, Neil, actually no, I'll make sure I put, Alexa, uh, set a reminder for 8pm uh, for to ask Neil about community night. Okay, I'll remind you at 8pm. It'll just remind me, it's it, it just a reminder. It won't give me the message, it never fucking does. I did a fucking reminder the other day and its response was, uh, here's a reminder, yes. I was like, what? <laughs> to meet you in VR, oh, just come to a community night. We do pictures and stuff as well. But no, I, I definitely want to do more community nights. I'm going to talk with Neil and we're going to try and do more regular community nights. I want to try and do something which is a bit more of a weekly thing along with a big monthly thing. Like I'm thinking a weekly Discord community night type deal 
and then a monthly big one in VRC type deal. I also want to look at maybe doing some competitions, but I think that's something which will come a bit later because it depends on what happens. Oh yes, I have been to the, the meetups. Yeah, we get pictures and stuff done, don't we? I want you guys to tweet them out. We'll be doing it. We'll be doing like a meet a community meet a meetup so hashtag as well because that'll be fun. So hot! Oh my god, it's so hot! Ah, oh, my titties. <sighs> Do I have any drink left? I don't. Wait, I do. Do you have any face reveals? Uh, I know, but I have done real world streaming before when I used to do art streams, but I kind of scrubbed the videos and got rid of them like a way long time ago. So, no, hopefully not. I got the blue popsicle. You mean an ice pop? I need water. <laughs> ah, I seen one and you are cute, Ira. No. No. I don't like how I look because I feel like I've got a pudgy face. And I've been trying to work myself... I've been trying to work my ass off to, like, make myself look better. And I remember hearing advice of if you're overweight... If you're an overweight trans person, right? Do not try to lose weight until you start homos. I remember hearing advice of don't try to lose weight until you're on hormones because what will happen is this. If you're overweight beforehand and then if you're overweight beforehand and then you gain weight, the fat just redistributes accordingly. If you wait until you're on hormones and you lose the weight and then you gain a little bit of weight back, it distributes properly. So if you're over if you're overweight pass if you're an overweight trans person and you're really struggling with your self image sounds ridiculously harsh lose weight and then the fat will redistribute properly but it won't do it until you start to lose the weight or if you're not overweight then you can gain weight once you start hormones if you got if you're un, if you're underweight like really low body fat and you start hormones and then you gain a little body fat which you'll naturally do anyway because the because uh, estrogen causes your body to naturally absorb a bit of extra fat um yeah when you gain a little bit of fat it distributes to the right pockets and it goes blum, 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 blum. yeah i'm fucking boiling right now oh my god it's so hot. Fuck. You fucking desktop bitch. Say that to my face, tough girl. I've died online and see what happens. I'll hug you and fucking bar. desktop bitch. I will fucking hug you next week until you fart. I'll fart when I see you. How about that? Please don't I'll moan. <laughs> <laughs> You're in fucking darkness right there, what the hell? Little one spot in the whole doing... one spot in the whole room where it's just darkness. There we go, come this side and I'm the light side. Yeah, you have to covering the mirror. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, if you're not, if you're underweight or ideal weight, you can just gain a little bit of weight and then try and lose weight and it'll just help the body fat redistribute properly. A lot of the problems that people have when it comes to weight loss and hormones is estrogen really help, really makes absorbing fat so much easier and it makes it so much more irritating and annoying to like do anything. So you just sit there like, mm, what the fuck? Make this go squeaky. Hmm. 
Good bun bun, right now. That was easy. <laughs> My ideal way for a guy. I'm ideal way for a guy, so when uh, on E, do I gain more weight and then try to lose it or just let it do its thing without getting too fat? Um, my suggestion would be is try to just stay active and not when I say active I don't mean go out and do like gym sh like proper gym shit just go for walks do things regularly L um do it for about six months and then just do a bit of an exercise routine give your body six months to stabilize and then work on trying to get the ideal weight for a female of your height and your age like mine is I've got to lose like a hundred pounds I got to try and lose a hundred pounds in three months now that's like my big goal is a hundred pounds in three months so when I go to Twitch Con US, I'm where I want to be because I I I can do it, but I've been wrong braining for a couple of weeks now, and I know I gained a bit of weight back, but I can do it. I'm going to be working very hardcore to do it. Uh, but yeah, just let your body do it. Hundred pounds in three months sounds like can cancer type stuff. Um, I've done it before, Fiona. I've done that before. I've lost 48 pounds in... The most weight I've ever lost is 48 pounds in six in six weeks, which is about the same. And that was genuinely really, really not hardcoring it that much. That was just me drinking way more water and just having more salad. I can do really, really big weight loss. Um, but my plan is this week is I'm going to try and just stabilize my diet and just clean my f fucking easing up again. Then when I come back from TwitchCon, I'm going back to the gym because my blisters and my ankles are gone so I can just go to the gym. My off streams, my days where I'm not streaming as I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna go to the gym those days. I'm gonna do pamper mornings. So I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, this is my day. And then I'm just gonna get on with little side jobs and like a little pro more small projects. Hmm. But yeah, 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 yeah. I reach too deep in the wind and dry. Do you still have faith in me? <laughs> Should we do karaoke tomorrow again, by the way? I feel like you enjoyed it last week. Small projects. Small projects are video projects. Jake, if you want to know, my project ideas moving forward are video projects. So when I say project work, I mean videos for youtube and stuff it's not gonna be like blah 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 blah, blah me doing like huge fucking massive redesign projects it's gonna be me being like oh i'm gonna work on a video i'm gonna be jumping in and recording and getting b-roll oh i want this video to be really really good we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this noise not big ones small projects small project there'll be week long at there'll be week there'll be videos that i edit okay sure my plan is I'm going to stream and then after stream I'm going to do the VOD and then I'm going to work on small video stuff whilst it do, whilst the VODs do the upload. I do that every day. And then on my off days I can do more editing and doing the refinements of those videos. Does that make sense? I have a technique that I want to do and I have a process that I want to do. I want it to be good. Yes, yes, and I'm going to be going through a learning curve again because I'm dropping Adobe, which means I no longer can be getting access to some of the cool shit which I had. I think I slept funny last night. Yee. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hot brick. Hot brick? Why the announcement so late, Katie? What announcement? I've been live for two hours. I sent out the announcement on Discord like two hours ago. What the fuck are you talking about? One second. I'm streaming, woman. Why 
Why the put? What the fuck? The announcement went out 90 minutes ago. No, it went out two and a half hours ago. What are you talking about? I got the Discord announcement 10 minutes ago. That sounds like an issue, not an issue me. Did you not check it? Is that why you didn't? Is, is the problem here? You checked your Discord 10 minutes ago, not the announcement came through 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Who got the announcement on my server when I did the fucking announcement two and a half hours ago? Because I feel like it's a problem with Trog, not me. Now, actually, yeah, if you're active on both, it kind of does problems. Timestamp. Timestamp. Show me the fucking when it came out, when it, when the message was sent. Because I'm pretty sure it was sent out two and a half hours ago. And you're going, when did we get it now? <laughs> because then only when your PC is inactive, you get the Discord notification on mobile. Yes. Which is fucking annoying. Hi, Worlds. Hi, hi. You okay? I did go out. Noise. Actually, it reminds me. I need to um, I need to get a suntan lotion for next weekend, because I will not be able to bring yes. my suntan. I need to get my stuff, which is for allergen stuff, because I have a slight sun allergen, and if I use normal um on its own suntan lotion, I will get a rash, and it's not a nice rash. It's kind of an annoying one. And it goes all over my chest, uh. and it's over my face. And I know my mum. It look. The thing is, is it initially looks like sunburn, but it's like I will get it even with sun lotion, like factor fifty or above. Mm. And it's it's it, the thing is, is my mum goes, "Oh, you've just got sunburn." I never got. I I, I got sun rash because it. I, I'm ginger. <laughs> I'm, I'm technically ginger. You look at my hair and you think, oh, that's brown. Then you look at it and you go, oh, wait, that's just really dark ginger. So if my mobile and laptop is active at the same time, hmm, yeah. The, t the trick is to not have it active in the same server. So you just have your own little messaging server on, like, PC that you just click it into and do do. <laughs> Kit is sun sensitive. I am. I very much am. I get rash. And the thing is, is my mum just looks at it and says, oh, it's just a sunburn. I'm like, you can feel how bumpy it feels. Like, you can feel the transition. You sh you don't feel that with sunburn. It should still feel smooth. It might feel a little bit drier, but you actually feel like a step up with the rash. And it's like, hmm? Naughty sun, naughty sun. Ah, oh, spank that sun, hun. Spank it so hard. I need I need to not do that on this platform. That's another platform thing, isn't it? <laughs> Shit. Don't 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 report me for saying that. I'm wholesome. See the announcement went out to Yeah and no, then no, I stop I start bringing the nefariously kinky stuff of on the Nianakis. I just, the thing is, is when it comes to me trying to set, doing the separation of spicy and non-spicy stuff, it's non-spicy mm. stuff is literally the same, except I just don't do the hypersexual stuff. And the spicy stuff is just me leaning into the hypersexual stuff. I, I, I tease it here, right? I lean into it over there. But I do try to separate them as much as I can. So the announcement went out two hours and 23 minutes ago. Yes! Which is about when I started stream. Double logs all mine later on today, tomorrow. What? What? I'm confused. I need more water. <laughs> We're getting to that weather where it's high. You need to be drinking water. Guys, drink water. Hydrate. Don't, don't hydrate or you'll die straight, okay? Okay, it goes, ah, ah, ah. Huh? Us is high. We're beautiful creatures. Days and we can go on. I actually might charge my headphones for the con. I got earphones. I might actually take 
find those and <clears throat> charge them up and take them just for the flight. And then whilst I'm at the airport. But I need to figure out how I'm gonna get music onto my phone. I have an iPhone, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not doing Spotify. I don't wanna I don't like Spotify. Spotify annoys me. Oh. Yes, I'm one of those. I'd rather put, get you, uh, YouTube Premium than Spotify Premium. Damn. Well, I get ad-free watching, I get music and shit, I get all of that stuff and it's all fine. It's literally the same except I get no ads on YouTube. Hi, true. <laughs> oh yeah, fun thing by the way, I removed the ad blocker on my Chrome and suddenly every website feels sketchy as fuck. Like everything feels so much more sketchy now that I got rid of my fucking ad blocker. Like everywhere just feels so much more dangerous, like I will get really annoying ads. I'm putting the ad blocker back on because I'm like, where the fuck did I get rid of this? I know it's not gonna work on YouTube and I'll disable it for YouTube and Twitch because I'm like, okay, whatever, because I rather support creators. But like, it's so sketchy going through any fucking, doing any searching. It's just like, everything is just terrible adverts. Just being there like, wah, wah, wah. I couldn't use adblock on YouTube anymore. You can't, I, you can't use them anymore. You can't use it. My book is literally blocked. Welcome to the raw dogging the internet. I just don't trust it. Like every time I go, so there's one website I go to get like sound effects and they're free open source. Well, they're open, uh, they're uh, creative common sound effects and stuff. People upload them and stuff. Mm. I, they're, they're, they're labeled as creative commons, unconfirmable and a lot of them, I'm pretty sure not all of them are. But like, every time you click one of the links, it does the whole page. You should download this software. It's totally not malware. Guys, look at this game. And you gotta click a cross and it's one of those tiny crosses, which is like about the size of a gnat's butthole on your yeah. fucking screen. And you're going, what the fuck is the X? It's right there. I see it, but I can't click it. It's like one of those. And it's like, this is stupid. So it's like, I, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get a fucking ad blocker and go fuck them. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Never surf the internet without production. Yeah. Like I'm definitely getting it back. I have, um, I've, I thankfully now have like, um, pass, uh, pass, key pass, pass key? Last pass, that one, the one with the, the password protection thing. I do have the occasional little hiccup and problem with it. Like it won't, it says it autofills, it doesn't autofill and I'm like, Bitch, don't do that. I don't get ads. Should I feel left out? You should stay feeling left out from not getting ads. <laughs> Fucking ads on websites are so terrible. That is the problem with the website. That is a problem with the website. I don't like a lot of websites with their sh shitty web... Their fucking ad design. I feel like there needs to be a proper website ad Pro, there needs to be like a um, advertising standard thing for websites that every website has to abide by. But you know for a fact that there's going to be people that go, YOLO fuck it, I'm making my own website, I'm just going to plaster it everywhere. I never understand mm -hmm. why some websites purposely not allow autofilling. It's just, I know why, it's so that you, it's so that you have to do passwords that are a bit different and I'm just sitting there going like, if I can't do that, I'm just going to do it this way and you can just copy and paste it, but then it goes, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you copied and pasted it, that don't work. I'm like, I've got a fucking jump, I have like a Jenga tower of letters and numbers and symbols here, what the fuck? And then they claim it's for security. Yes, because sex39 is such a good password. Or oh, god3. Oh my god. What about password1234? Please stop also... reading my passwords out on stream. <laughs> I feel like your password would be like... I don't know, my brain says something with clungin for some reason. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
I feel like I might have accidentally <laughs> done one of their passwords. Guys, no, I'm that's just not... about to get like fifty. <laughs> get, like fucking 200 emails into my into my email inbox it's like someone's trying to get, someone's trying to access your account someone's trying to access your account i'm like oh, for fuck's sake someone's trying to access your account <laughs> a cool thing with LastPass as well you can do it to, um if you've got an iphone or a, uh, if you've got an iphone it you have to put in a you have to put in a pin code and it also uses facial id so I'm like, oh, and then it will send you the verification. So that's just to get verification codes. So it's like for you to get the verification code to work with the website to do a verification login, you have to do a pin code, face scan or face ID scan, then you get the code and then you have to put the code in. So it's like, how are you going to get into this website? You've got to do four layers of security before you get into it. So it's like... Oh, did I scroll? That was excellent. Like, I actually really, really liked that. LastPass is really, really good. And you can install all of, like, passwords from other browsers and stuff, like Google ones and Apple's one, and you can just be like, I want to install these. I want to uh, uh, upload these. And then you just go, cool. Problem I have with it, though, is when you're using it on Chrome, is every time you go for a password, it goes, Chrome would like to autofill in the password for you. Would you like to use this password? And you're just sitting there going, like, no, I want to use LastPass. And it goes, no, 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 no. We're in the way now. You're going to use Google passwords. I'm like, no, I'm using LastPass. Get the fuck out of here. Well, you find a way, well, you, f you find a way to go around to FA and there were some high profile websites that had some. Yes, I heard about that. Thank you so much for the follow. I think we just hit 8,000 followers as well with that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can disable Chrome Autofill and Password Manager. Yes, I'm going to be doing that. Can you send me a link on how to do that? Cause it's fucking annoying me. It keeps getting in the way of LastPass. I'm just sitting there going, I wanna use LastPass. They have like really, really good levels. <laughs> Like the mean doing fuck off. <laughs> I also kind of want to wipe out my the pa the the stuff I've got on my uh, Google passwords, but I'm like, my brain is saying use it as a backup. I'm going, but I've got LastPass on everything. <laughs> mm. but yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Yeah, I think that's yes. Thank you for being the eight thousand follow. Yeah, guys, we hit eight thousand finally. We hit eight thousand. Let's go. Let's go. We were so close. I thought we were gonna get yesterday, and it was just like no, no, no. Party in the chat, guy. Goon in session. Guys, greeting session in the chat. We just hit 8,000. Let's go. I swear to fuck if someone unfollows just to. Number 8,000 come in. Yes, thank you so much. Me. Happy feet. Happy dance. We've got 8,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like ah. You okay, Prey? Yeah. How is everyone doing? What is everyone- Okay, question. What the fuck is everyone's plans this weekend? What's your plans for the weekend? Considering we've got travel next week. Because I'm already uh... planning my packing and shit for, the, for the everything. Get shit done. Uh, um, deal with a few other things and then just get packed. Hmm. And stream, like you stream a ton. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, because we because we're not streaming next weekend. Like my goal this weekend is to get that to to two hundred before Monday. Like my goal is to get this to two hundred. My my sub goal to two hundred. I'm trying. I'm mm. trying to hover it at two hundred from this point forward. It, at least two hundred every month. But my goal is to try and hit three fifty, like every month. Actually, I might do it. So there's yeah. an initial goal. Oh, yeah, I might do that. I might change. I, I, that's an idea. I'm gonna go with that. I'll do it so there's an initial 200, but the, my big goal is 350 a month. That's like where I want to mm. set at. <laughs> 350. 
3,500 subs a month, hun, would fucking break me. If I ever get to the point where I get more than 1,000 on average subs a month, I'm gonna fucking cry. Like, that's insane. 350 subs a month is, like, the goal, is, like, a sweet spot which I, I'm stupidly comfortable at. But, like, 200 is, like, I, that's what, that's, that keeps me happy and comfortable. But I've got, we, we've got, like, tomorrow, well, we've got the rest of this stream tomorrow and Monday to get that to 200. Because I'm not streaming next week. So I need to make sure that this month ends, th this weekend ends super, super well. So it's going to be like, yeah. Hi, Simon. Hi, hi. Bean, was it you? Huh? My plans other than playing Elden Ring and going to the sauna. I really need to get the DLC for Elden Ring. But I haven't played it in forever. And I know loads of people have been playing it. And I was going to play it. But I'm like, mmm, fuck. Fucking Asmund just going around with his two halabado, just doing jump attacks constantly is the funniest shit. <laughs> and then fucking, um, fucking, um, Moist Critical just going around with fists and punching everything and then dying. <laughs> there are not really any guides, but I, I, I say knew what to do. Thank you! I want to need to get a head. Oh, that's one thing as well. We might get lucky at TwitchCon and find a VR store. So there might actually be some new VR equipment at TwitchCon if we're lucky. It is hoping as well, but I've also got like a list of vendors and I got like I got the floor plan. Mm hmm And like list of vendors and such like that. Can you send me a look can you send um, can you send it to me as well? So I can see. If you join the Discord server that sent you, it will be in, in channel what is the server actually you didn't actually explain it you just got confused as to where you can send oh it's for the vr it's literally the vr chat twitchcon um discord server the, like the one where we announce like the meet up and ah, like, ah. communicate and all that stuff yeah hi simon hi why have my nipples hard oh my god i'm so sensitive today you want to know what's the who? Well, actually, no, not the two weirdest. One of the weirdest um, stalls that we have mm -hmm. at TwitchCon Rotterdam this year. Mm -hmm. Hellman's, and I don't know whether or not it's like an international company or well, if Hellman's it's the is, fucking mayonnaise company. Hellman's is an international company around the world. I know, but I was expect. I, I don't know whether or not it's just like there may be some mistaken identity there, and they're actually like you know some sort of tech provider. We'll or have whatever, to or it's find. Just literally a we'll, fucking condom. We'll just have to find Twitch out, con. guys. Do you want mayo on your? Do you want mayo on your fries? I'm a weird person. I put mayo on my. I put mayonnaise on my fries because I don't like ketchup. Mm. Mayo is better, honestly. It is better. It's so much nicer. It's kind of odd when it's hot though. I don't like mayonnaise when it's hot. I like it when it's nice and cold. Mm. Mayonnaise is nice when it's cold. <laughs> it's like you want mayonnaise on your on your fries? Chat. Yes, I like this as an idea. I love this. Oh. Your what is hard? My nipples. They feel really, really hard. Actually, no. Oh no, I know this feeling. Shit. I know what's gonna happen soon. I'm gonna have a night, I'm gonna wake up in pain. I'm gonna have my boobs just feel massive out of nowhere now. They're gonna grow like half of a size overnight. Like legitimately, I'm gonna just look down and be like, oh my God, they got bigger. Cause that's oh, yeah, a, it's, it, it just, it's like legitimately out of nowhere. You go, my boobs have been fine. My boobs have been fine. My boobs have been fine. Why do my nipples hurt? And then you'll wake up in the middle of the night like, Oh my god, they feel huge! Oh my god, they're massive! <laughs> and they've just gone, what? <laughs> like, it's, a, it's, a, it's like they're just sitting there pulling up for a really, really slow punch, and then in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, it just goes, BANG! And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? And then you're like, fuck's sake, none of my brass fit. I literally went from a C cup thinking, oh, these are fine, to a D cup, and now I'm in a situation of the D cups feel really small. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I can't grow bigger. Stop making my toddies big. 
the dilemma process was dem was demanding. Hot salad sauce. I worked on that. I dip my fries in Wendy's Frosty. Oh, oh, best thing to dip fries in is a McDonald's milkshake. Just to choose any milkshake and it's fucking amazing. Like I love, I, I just, any of the milkshakes, yeah. Oh, ads are about to start. You got two minutes of ads, go, go, go heads up. <laughs> I hope that happens to me. I want to get massive boobs. Oh, Golden, that's the thing. It will be like really, really painful and you'll be like, oh my God, this really, really hurts. The first couple of times, it will be really painful. And you'll, they'll feel really, really, really hard. And then they'll go from really, really hard to really, really soft. And it was, it's, it's basically the hard feeling is like the milk ducts being made, but they're not filled up. They're just being made. And then the big heavy feeling is when the body just goes, okay, time to fill these up. And that's how it works. It goes from building to filling. It's like, it's like building like, um, it's like, but yeah. Pretty much. I am okay, the ads just started. <laughs> you okay, Prey? It's a long story, long chain, molecular, molecules and all that jazz. What's up everyone? What's up everyone? McDonald's ice cream machine is never, it never works so I cut, so I can get their milkshakes. Yeah, that's the, f the fun fact is, is um, I think the only reason why the milk, the milkshake machines, to be honest, to be honest, the milkshake machines are different from their, um, from their ice cream machines. And the only reason why they break is because they're overcomplicated bullshit and they're run by a company who just refuses to fix and upgrade them and make them actually functional and easier to maintain. Because they have to clean them daily and it makes no sense. Now I hear again. Welcome back! Ads never heard of them. You have turbo and you're subscribed. You're of course not, you're not gonna get You're like double layering your condom, Simon. Anyways, you were saying? Um, basically the way, it, the, the reason why it hurts is it's your body building the, 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 the ducks and the, 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 the milk sack things. And then that's when it feels really, really hard and it's really, really hard to get, they're really uncomfortable. And then the feeling of them suddenly being heavy at night is them filling up. Them just going, what? And then they're like, oh, fuck. Rib them bubbled, oh God. <sighs> oh, I'm getting lightheaded again. Oh, fuck. I hate that feeling. Oh, no. You know that feeling as well, but it's usually when I've just decided to open the bottle of poppers. I never get that effect from poppers. I just get really, really horny. Like I just get really, really horny, and I act a bit more like wanting stuff. I get very, I, I, I basically get uber bratty, and just really in the mood. Only after no, do I get a bit. Only after do I get a little bit of a headache, but then it disappears after about uh, after a little while. Mm. Ideas right, be anyway, jump off. Percolating. Yes, you do. It is fun. Have fun. Have a good week. I'll see you next. If I don't see you, if I don't see you again next week, okay? Be. Take it on. Have fun. What? Hi. It's just me now, bitch. Hmm. Mm. Hi. I need to get used to having other people around when I stream. It's like a, a little bit of a uh, thing with me. Like I'm not used to it mentally yet. Come here, come here, come here. I want to sit down for, for a few minutes. You don't stream next weekend. That's a, I'm not streaming next weekend because I am traveling. So it makes no sense for me to stream. And I'm not a real wife to... Well, Sausage is a sausage on ma mash mountain. 
I, I do have bangers and mash with dinner, yes. I'm hoping I do. My dad has this tendency to say I'm going to make bangers and mash because we haven't had mash in a while. And then he remembers the effort required to make mashed potato and he goes, I'm just going to make baked potatoes. I'm like, no, I want mashed potato. It's so nice. I want my mushy stuff. So I have a question. Uh, a question. You have been on hiatus for quite a while then expect... Uh, can it grow bigger than expected from genetics? Um, so on my mum's side, my mum's, uh, I, I, I'm on my mum's side, I, I think I'm about average for my family, actually. What does that mean that when I start my chest can grow bigger than expected from genetics? Um, so it, your, your titty size is completely different. You, you need to remember that you've got your, you you'll have your father's genetics your father's side genetics and your mother's side genetics to play with if you have if the females in your um family both m mother and father's side are both uh, affluently um in endowed with personality um then you too shall be blessed with those blouse the the blouse bunnies are of plentifulness uh, one thing to take into account, though, which no one tells you about, is despite what people say, your body and your skeletal structure does change form and shape throughout hormones. It's the one thing they don't tell you. It's not, like, drastic, but you do see physical change. Your rib cage and your hip will actually alter their shape. Your rib cage will get slightly smaller. And your shoulder blades and stuff are also short and slightly, bringing your shoulders in slightly. Not a huge amount, but they do get smaller. Um, it's the same with your hip. Your hip will alter its roll. Your hip will alter its roll angle. So when you're a guy, it's more like that. With a girl, it's more like that. So it alters the angle that your hip rolls, and it will widen the hip slightly. That shit's painful. I enjoy that. That's going to be so much fun. Um, but yeah, your feet will also get smaller. My dad didn't believe that. I'm two sizes smaller than my dad's shoes now. Me and my dad had the exact same shoe size before I transitioned. We were both ten and a halfs. I am a eight and a half. <laughs> I'm an eight and a half now. I've gone down two sizes of shoe because my shoe does change size. Hips. Yes, your hips does change its shape ever so slightly. When you transition. Um, but yeah. Wish I could get a bulletproof rib. Maybe mincing. Mincing a bullet and make it into a tea might help. Hi, Baba. Hi, Floxy. Hi, Feet. Remember, don't be hard on yourself. Why would I be hard on myself? I'm feeling always better now. I'm not feeling like actual death and shit all the time now. I have positive brain stuff. I also have rice pudding for after stream. Sorry, this is why I don't have my tracker on my hip, by the way. Ah oh, yes, hips mirror, oh wait, what we're we talking about? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just sitting here. And please keep it that way if you can, Katie. I'm trying to not... If I do any product shit now, they're going to be short-term projects. And my plan is to just do video projects. I'm going to probably do the next 10 vid... I'm going to be doing 10 videos from stream stuff. And I'm going to be experimenting with those 10 videos. And we're going to, we're going to come up and figure out a style. And then the plan is, is just to do quality improvements, production improvements, improving workflow... And then when I get to the point where I can do, like, a video quite rapidly, then, then, my plan is going to be, um, basically doing multiple videos a week when I get to the point where I'm able to do them quite quickly. That'll be the point. Like, I'll, up, I'll work on up and quality, and then once quality feels solid, I'll then work on doing things faster, whilst keeping quality the same, and then just doing them more often. But I do plan, I don't, I don't, I need to stay out of my head and I'm going to try and stay out of my head. Which is why I've got my team of people to tell me to get out of my fucking head. Keep it small and refined at the beginning. Yeah! 
the point of the videos is to keep it um is to keep it keep polished gems not try to work on giant rocks be hard in yeah never mind don't make me wiggle my toes at you I've been here from the very beginning though I still like to say hi hi welcome in hi hi Hi, Baba. How are you doing today? You doing okay, hun? You doing good? Oh, yeah. So, on the 6th, I'm doing a, um, I'm doing a debut stream on the 6th, right? So, not next week, but the week after. My week back when I think. So, on the 6th, I'll be doing a debut stream. Um, and I think the plan actually is I might also have an announcement on the 5th. Which is kind of a big hype one as well. So we've got two things back to back. Mm. Um. Yes. B debut. Yes, we have a debut on the 6th. So make sure you're here on the 6th. It'll be a big stream. I'm going to make sure it's a really, really big stream. Real big, all round, massive quality improvements. It's going to be really, 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 really nice. It's going to be cool. Um. Secret. Secret! I'm allowed to announce debut because I've already announced the debut. We've got a debut on the way. Um, but also, um, yeah, I might have another, uh, I might have another announcement. But sure, it will be on the set for maybe the day before. Hmm. But on the 5th, we'll be saying goodbye to this avatar. Secret. See how they run. Yee. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be really, really fun. I'm I'm gonna be yeah, but because my dad's going out that day, I might I might make the debut stream a little bit longer. So we might do it as a really, really nice, cool long stream to make the announcements. I wanna make it an event. I'm working to try and make it an event, which is like the thing which I'm trying to do. Actually, I might do the reveal the day before and then do a, the debut officially on stream on the sixth. I don't know. Is it worth doing? Is it, Do I do everything on the same day or do I do a reveal and then a debut? I can't remember. From memories. Hmm. Do it on stream. Okay. I'll look into it. God, this is why I don't like fucking my tracker on my side. There we go. Yeah, we'll work on it. We got time. I know the debut is going to be on the 6th, okay? Hmm. Also, this is how crap the mirror is. It sees the camera. It sees the camera. It, it literally sees the camera. And if you're in VR and not the camera, you see the camera seeing the camera seeing the camera. Hi chat! Hi! That is the whole point of debut to show off the stuff. Oh, I thought people do reveals and then the debut after. I'm guessing- oh wait, no, I, I, I have an idea. I, I have an idea. Hmm. Don't worry. I have an idea that, don't worry. Does it mean past photos of the current avatar will become valuable? It means they will become retro and old and maybe valuable. <laughs> well, someone has forgotten to turn off the UI layer in the mirror. Yes. You can tease stuff. Yeah, I know I can tease stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I will be doing teaser stuff uh, up until the thing, and the point is to level up the teaser as we go. But yeah, don't worry, we got a plan. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fucking awesome, we're gonna love it. We could become rich. No one wants fucking Katie cards. No one wants retro Katie. But a debut is meant to be the point of the point in time when you show off the new star for the first time. Okay, I'm stupid. I, I've never done a debut before, Taris. 
I've never done a debut. No, remember, in the past, every time I've done an avatar, I've just started using it. I never did an announcement. I never did a thing. I was just like, oh yeah, guys, I'm doing a new, I'm doing a thing on this day. I'm just gonna do it. Like, oh, I'm finished. Hi, new avatar. Like, no build up. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to hype. We're gonna be doing a cool hype. And I know you guys are gonna like it. Like, if you like this one, you're gonna fucking love what's on the way. Like, holy shit, it's so cool. Can you play in cars? That sounds hot. I would need a good artist for that, and I am not good at art. <laughs> I can maybe do emotes. I can't do anything beyond, like, sketching, and it sucks. Should we? Okay, question. Who wants a karaoke day tomorrow? Who who wants a karaoke day tomorrow? Cause I'm in I'm in the mood for maybe karaoke again tomorrow. I kind of enjoyed it. Do you guys want it? See, we need a sharp card artist. Find me one. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't I can't wait to show you because it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be great. And I'm trying to but I want I want to try. We can do we can do karaoke tomorrow if you want. I'll let you fuckers choose it tomorrow. We'll choose it. We'll choose tomorrow. We don't have to. Do it. We don't have to do it today. Okay. Hmm. 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 Ah! I'm so hot right now. I can sing Twinkie. Twinkie? Are you a twink? Hot tub karaoke. I'm not doing a hot tub karaoke stream. We're just going to do a karaoke stream like last time. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Anyway, it's hot as balls. And I'm going to send you wonderful people over to Flare. Because I know you guys are furries. And I know you enjoy the fur the, the fellow furs. So I'm sending you over to one of my favorite fuzzies. It's Flair. So I'm hoping you all have a wonderful day. Sorry for stream being a little awkward today. I, I, I kind of didn't have a plan and I'm trying to fix it. So yes, I hope you all have a wonderful night. If I don't see you again tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I hope you all stay safe. I hope you all stay awesome. Remember that. I love you all. A fucking lot. Make sure you join the Discord. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you haven't done it yet. I will be back tomorrow. We've got two streams left, and then I get like a week, and I, I get I get I get actual time off. It's gonna be great. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I really, really I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support you give me. Remember, stay safe, stay awesome. Remember to tell someone you love them. Go show Flair all the love you can. They're currently doing some Elden Ring DLC, which I feel left out of, and I really want to get. And I don't. Maybe I might get it after TwitchCon. I might treat myself. But yeah, go have fun with the fuzzy. Go go enjoy it. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Make sure you have a good night. Don't drink too much. Make sure you drink plenty of water and stuff like that. I need to... It's hot and I'm getting dizzy again. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Mwah.